So two weeks ago on Aurora Zero, we, I, I had to like dig, dig deep to like remember all this stuff. The ciphers got a little more insight into what the Prophet of Two is doing. It seems like they're creating a weapon out of power siphoned from the director and Saffron's Edge is helping them do it. The connection found an Aurora colony that still had some old code on it that could help them create a firewall to help contain the Prophet's weapon. And so Brax, uh, quote, suggested that they make a little pit stop on their way to Aurora Zero to uh, recover that data. After fighting their way through a multi-dimensional department store, uh, the ciphers found themselves in a jungle outside of a strange cave. After triggering a few traps, learning about a couple cults, uh, the party uh, they ma managed to finagle their way through an Indiana Jones uh, style uh, temple plinth where they found an, found an old book. And they are, we are going to be joining them as they are stand, standing around this book wondering what it is. This is Aurora Zero. Hello. You answered the call a millennia ago. The freedom we fought for is once again at stake. If you are still out there, Meet at Aurora Zero. The revolution needs your help. Just wanted to make sure Twitch didn't break on me. Um, I'm hoping that Twitch didn't break. <laughs> <laughs> did it. <laughs> Yay! Yeah. Um there should be music playing. Can you guys hear that? Or no? Negative. It doesn't no, even seem to be playing no. to it's not going to um Yeah, it does not indicate roll push. twenty. Yeah. Hmm. Super sick. Intriguing. I'm gonna try and fix this. Yes, yes to the music. Stream it is stream showing. can hear it. Stream stream can hear it. All right. Well that's oh. the important thing. If stream can hear it, then we are just gonna roll with it, guys, and I will cue everybody up. <laughs> oh, it's back for me. Same. Me as well. Easy. Hashtag refreshed. Thanks, mm -hmm. Roll20. You're the best. Okay. <laughs> Sponsor. Also look, the worst. <laughs> we're, I mean what? Look, guys. We're just doing it live today. Today we're just doing it live. It's been two weeks, right? Yeah. Turn it off and on. It works again. Okay, here we go. We're gonna reel, reel everybody in here and get a little sappy. <laughs> hey, Perg. Um, looks like I uh, won't be back for that old-fashioned after all. Uh, it wasn't old-fashioned. I asked you to get me right. Look, look, sorry I wasn't able to get back for our hang, but something something weird is happening here on Aurora Zero, and some of the residents aren't coming back from the director. Like, they log into work and just haven't logged out. They, they say some of them have been under for days. Perg, can... Can you imagine just putting on the headset and heading to heading to work at the bank just like normal and not being able to get back? I know it sounds crazy, but 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 look, I want you to be careful. Shit I've heard going on here makes me really start to doubt this tech. It seems like it was all a false alarm and there wasn't anything wrong with the life support systems here on Aurora Zero anyway. Look, uh, seriously. I gave up an entire weekend for this fucking bullshit. 
The next jump back home isn't until tomorrow, so I'm gonna go I'm gonna go drown myself in that old fashion that you ordered for me. But you know. Here. I'm ordering for you, ordering for me, right? Yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> hey. Uh, for some reason, I was thinking about that old movie we watched months ago, um, with the temple, um, the, the Green Skull Cult. Honestly, that's, fuck, that's some of the campiest shit I have ever seen. But tossing back those drinks without you uh, has me thinking about the old times. You know, you know what? When I get back, I got something real important to ask you. Wait. Wait. Wait, what? What was that? Shit. Shit. Perg. Look. I gotta go. Look, fuck, something's, something's breaking. Fucking. Look, such is life of a service tech. But yeah. You know, I'll. You know, I'll see you tomorrow. Keep. Keep a cold one ready for me. Ecto. And we come, come to the ciphers. Who are standing around a plinth. Holding a book. That I believe, I believe, um, Knox had it, right? Yes. 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 <laughs> it's canon now. Yep. <laughs> I have it didn't, now. He does It was now. either Knox or Booker. It was one of the two. I can't remember. Yeah, and uh, you, you look down, you open the cover... And you you look down and you see a scrawl kind of right off you know, right on the front cover that just says Perg, I love you. Nothing else? Like there's nothing else on the You start flipping through the pages. And almost as if you're playing an old timey movie, you you see what what looks like the inside of this metal factory slash laboratory. You see three different, sorry, four different of these giant tubes that almost look like those like Bacta tanks from from Star Wars. Um, or they're like glass tubes with liquid, and you see these kind of silvery forms inside of them. And as you kind of keep flipping the book, it kind of starts slowly glowing green. And it's almost like you're watching a, a movie in slow motion unfold in front of your eyes. Am I the only one seeing this? Or can I show everybody, it to anybody else? Everybody can see this. Oh, yeah, that ain't a normal book there. But who are these people? So to reiterate uh, something I think Booker mentioned, does this not look like what Dithy described when we were all in for that last week or whatever? I mean, yeah, Dithy did say that she got flashes of liquid and tanks and in between intermittent torturing and not a, not a real good place. If there's anything, I'm betting those are four prisoners. But you don't mean imprisoned in the book. Uh, <laughs> at this well, point who knows yeah um i think at that point booker will try to like reach his hand into the book and like press the pages uh do you just yeah let knocks, him yeah, knocks just, <laughs> yeah just holds it out uh great why don't you roll me a wisdom saving throw chat can you please roll me a 1d20 plus six please First Both of us are just let's kick uh, off just the just for the person pushing his hand into the pages. Okay. <laughs> all right, all right. It's not terrible. Fourteen. That is terrible, actually. <laughs> it's, it's still a fail. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, and 
as as Booker puts his hand on the pages, you you see this green pulse emanate from your hand, and one of the lab techs uh, who is tending to these kind of this these three or these four giant tubes in this lab stops stops what he's doing. And starts looking up around him. Trees gifting a sub to cube. Hey, let's go. And he he kind of just looks around. And then he kind of looks at his colleague and you you see him mouth the words. Did you hear that? Okay, I think Nox sees this and attempts to do the same thing that that <laughs> uh, that Booker just did while yelling, "Hey, hey, can you hear us? Hello." Roll a wisdom saving throw, please. Chat, can you roll me a one d twenty plus six? Nothing bad happened to me. This is the easiest game in the world. Hmm. Ah. You think nothing bad happened. Yeah, it's only the second time we've been making a wisdom saving throw where nothing bad immediately happens. Yeah, I'm still unsettled by that one a couple weeks ago. I'm going to use a luck die. (laughs) 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 Womp womp. 16. Uh, Okay, that's that's against uh, that's against the 8, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I said, I'm going to learn Python one of these days. Fake trees? Fake trees, this is your first project, dude. <laughs> Fix the bot script. <sighs> um, <laughs> I know nothing. <laughs> yes. Lies. Fix it then. Uh, you wanted to take that on? <laughs> yeah, so do you... Uh, so you, you succeeded... You you want them to hear you, right? Yes. Yeah, so they... And they, then I start yelling, where are you right now? <laughs> they're looking up. Who are you? <laughs> I am... Trying to help you. Can you are? Can you hear me? Uh, Devin, is there a PA system in here? Who? who do they install PA? What's your clearance, Devin? I almost said my name is Pylos. My name <laughs> is Knox. <laughs> I am Knox. a cipher. Okay. Do you know do you know what a cipher is? And they like immediately kind of get a little scared. They kind of straighten up. Yes. I I am a cipher trapped inside of the director. I'm looking down at you from inside the director. You could have been so much better. I could have been. I, I could have been a god. <laughs> <laughs> could have been a contender. Uh, and he so, what? How? What, what do you want us to do? Just tell me where you are. I'm going to come find you. Roll me a uh, persuasion check, please. Uh, Happily. Jack, can you roll me a 1d20 plus 5? Oh, Bluey. Okay. I see that. Bluey's learning Python. Let's go. Well, the bot doesn't need it anymore, so... (laughs) No. Oh, I rolled the 23 as well. Uh... Ty goes to the thing uh, making making the check, so you win. 
Yay! <laughs> Uh, and I mean, I have a plus seven persuasion chat. What do you want here? Are you kidding me? <laughs> Why? Because those, because them's the rules, Cube. Rules. <laughs> them's the breaks. It also works pick for it up, pick it, it, up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Yeah. It's a uh, tie. But we want, to, we want class. to win. <laughs> That's what we want. Uh, yeah, and they, they kind of look at you. Um, look, we're we're at the and I, I guess I say look at you they kind of look up at the ceiling because because your voice is coming from literally everywhere uh yep look we're we're at the uh a new new federation research facility on row zero you know we we just got this working a couple days ago the new generation the the New Federation Research Facility. On a, I know. Uh, My hand slipped. <laughs> Yo, Lieutenant Murphy, LT Murphy, eighty three. Thank you for the follow. Welcome to the Torpid Gaming Network. Oh my God! Marbles. <laughs> no. <laughs> Thank you all for taking time, time out, and keep us entertained and sane during all this. Love you guys, dude. Thank you for Love the you, twenty hundred million dollars, dude. Holy shit. <laughs> You did not have to do that, dude. Thank you. Um, Holy shit. Do you have access to the director where you are? I I mean of I mean of course. I mean, yeah. I mean we we need it for our project. Okay. Then I need your help. We're trapped in the director on a task to help Agent 3. They, he kind of like looks over at, at his at his colleague and just gives him a nod. His colleague starts walking away. All I need is for you to help us find our bodies outside of the director. Look, just tell me where you are and we will send help. My hand kind of on Nox's shoulder. Don't tell them where we are. Ask them I mean, where we presumably, should go. Presumably she can, they can hear us, right? They can hear they all can of us. Hear, they can hear you. You. Oh, only me. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. That's why I'm not touching the book. Don't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. Don't. Don't tell them where we are. Ask them where we should go. We can't stay here. Where we are is too dangerous. You have to give us a, a destination, and we'll come meet you. Look. Come to you. Look. Meet us. <laughs> Look, just head to head to asteroid seventeen. Look, we we've got a station there. We can get you guys out. Excellent. Um, Booker's gonna pull on uh, Fiona's elbow a little bit. Hey, your uh, teleport shenanigans that you had is that just like a line of sight thing? Which one? Uh, uh, look, you've you've been here one moment, one moment with the next. There's um, a couple of different things that happen. I'm just throwing it out there. If, if we found this book here, are we supposed to go in it? Because if you can teleport us based on what you see, it might be a one-way trip. Fiona's going to do something insane. <laughs> and I'm going to blink. Because I want to see what I see on the other side of a blink in this situation. Yeah, totally. 
Um, and and you you don't have to roll for that, right? You just you just step. No, I have to roll in. to come back, or I have to roll to see if I come back or not on my next turn. This is weird because we're doing it out of combat, which we've never done. Just making right. this harder on you every time. Uh, it's 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 Always fine. This, the best thing about this game is that I have I have, I got the DM's permission to just make shit up that I that I don't know the truth for. Um, I'm like page two. And as you uh, as you blink. You you see just the ethereal outlines of the rest of your party, and you see you see Knox holding just this like giant. It's not really like it's it's kind of it, it is a book sized what looks like a book sized leech that is just latched onto his hand. And instead of there being like a jungle, you see it's all metal, bulkheads, uh, rust. This is old. Uh, it almost looks like you're in, you're on a ship, or in some type of station. Interesting. Um, does the leech appear to be mechanical or organic? Organic. Cool. If I look around, do I see? Because I can kind of see outlines of the plane I left as well as the plane I'm on. Do I see any yep. other outlines that indicate like other other things? Do I see anything else organic in this space? I don't uh, know if you want me to like, don't, roll a perception. Yeah, why don't you roll me a perception check? Uh, chat, can you roll me a 1d20 plus 7, please? That was a 21. That is a, that is a versus a critical fucking fail. Oh, <laughs> cool. I was so worried about that. Plus seven modifier. Here we modifier. go. Mm. Cool. So I see God. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Only crits here. <laughs> yeah. So you, so you see, you know, there's this, this kind of, there's this organic looking leech and you see it, you see it at, at, as it's like, sucking up whatever is on ethereal uh nox's hands and you see its eyes kind of start start to glow green and as its eyes start glowing green you you manage to notice that kind of scattered around this room and kind of going down the hallway are a bunch of devices that kind of look like microphones and they're like they're hanging from the ceiling and as as the slug's eyes kind of the, the leech's eyes get get brighter and brighter, these these devices also kind of start glowing and pulsing to its eyes. Okay. Um. Oh God. <laughs> I don't know what to do. Um, I'm gonna cast Chill Touch on the leech. Okay. Do you have to, do you have to roll for that? I, I mean, it's even a if you cantrip, do, I, so I assume know. it's a cantrip, so I can roll it as a standard spell attack if you want me to. I don't. There is nothing in Blink I checked to specify whether or not I can like take spell actions while on a different plane. Sure. But since I'm trying to cast on something in the plane that I am currently in, I figured it was worth a shot. Yeah. Why don't you just roll to see if you get a crit? It's not going to resist being hit. Um, but I'm curious, cool. but something cool will happen if you get a crit. <laughs> Obviously. Um, I did not get a crit. Okay. Um, I got a 19 as a spell attack. Yeah. And uh, you you start free freezing this... This, this leech. Oh and as you're freezing, yo, yeah. Fantos, thank you for the three month sub. Welcome back. It's in time back. for this horrible plan. <laughs> Oops, I forgot. <laughs> and. <laughs> <laughs> and as you start, uh, you know, casting, is it Chilling Touch, you said? Yeah, it's Chill Touch. As you start casting chill touch on this leech, you you see the the green kind of slowly start to fade out of its eyes, and all all of the microphone type devices on the ceiling start to slowly slowly fade, and uh, 
Nox, why don't you, uh, why don't you uh, roll me a Constitution saving throw here? Uh, Happily. Chat, can you roll me a one d twenty plus five, please? Shit, I guess that means I'll need to roll damage on this, potentially. I rolled a twenty-two. Ah, yeah. So this, the book you're holding, just gets instantly cold, as if it was just dipped in liquid nitrogen, and it is too 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 cold to hold, but. As it kind of, but you're able to, but you're able to drop it um, b before you take any damage. And the book just clatters, clatters to the ground, and a just a, a big chunk of the back cover just splinters off of it because the book is just so cold. Did I, do I like in this time? Have I seen Lucy? Uh, not Lucy. Excuse me. It's a crossover <laughs> episode. Uh, it's the episode where you guys are just playing yourselves, the, and I'm leaving. <laughs> and I see uh, Fiona. <laughs> um, blink. Uh, I don't think you were trying to be sneaky, right? Mm -hmm. Standing right next to him because I what just I mean, had yeah. the like, hand on his shoulder. Having, so. what, what I mean was the book having any effect to what I was yeah, actually so you, seeing. You you do not see her in there, and it doesn't. And nothing actually changes for you. It, the book just gets super fucking cold. Also, point okay. of order: I can see and hear you guys while I am in the other plane. Yep. Just for the record. Okay, well, we can all agree that that was likely a trap, right? I mean, <laughs> yeah, my, my, my trust has been spread a little, a little thin these days. And we can agree we're also going to walk right into it, right? I, I mean, I'd prefer I, I, to charge headlong, but... Yeah, I do think that's kind of the only option, as these traps seem to all be. At this point, I would like to pop back in, if possible. Sure. Cool. Do you want me to roll for that, or just say it happens? Nope. It happens. Cool. Cool. I reappear next to Knox and Booker. We get a pop, Nestor. <laughs> uh, I can't. I, did, uh, I really can't right now, actually. <laughs> Two perfectly good ones. Oh, are Ooh. they good? I can't hear them. I no, they're fine. Them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're they, good. No, they, yeah. they were good. Yeah. Oh, I yeah. can't. I can't hear them because of the hands. <laughs> I spent so much money on my. You just had a little like. Boop, boop, boop. <laughs> yeah, so Fiona. If only I could a, like. A rapid fire pop. Rapid fire. <laughs> yeah, just. Fiona, you like come that. back with a with a pop. <laughs> we are isn't real, which should come as a shock to no one. Yeah, no. Um, it's very similar to the last few times I've uh, pulled that stunt. Lots of mechanical elements. Um, that book is a giant leech. And I don't know what it was doing to your hand, but it was making it glow. There was a whole bunch of uh, something hanging from the ceiling, something electronic that was sort of pulsing along with it. Uh, I'm sorry, I, did I hurt you? Nope, not at all. Sorry about that, uh, reflex. We were just agreeing that we were going to walk into this trap no matter what. Yeah, I heard. I I had some concerns about that and thought I should come uh, check in. Fiona, do you know anything about the other world that you're in when you blink? I know it's directly tied to this one. When we were on the, uh, we were attacked in the ship, and I got, you know, grabbed by that claw. That yeah. thing beneath us. Same structure, two different things. I was in a giant mechanical grip going down to a control center. And then when we came back in, it was that crab whatever. 
Same right. thing in the department store. Pop out, everything's mechanical, electrical, it's all controlling. There was something plugged into you and Ten when you were in the dressing rooms. And then when I came back, you were it's moving on your like own accord. What, what what do we look like when you're out there? Are we still this? Ghosts. Or are we st you're ghosts of what I see now. All right. Um, I don't know what's that way on this plane, but wherever I just was, the microphones were sort of. I'm gonna kind of point to where the general area is, and I'm gonna look and see if I see anything like in the room that kind of matches up to the locations. Uh, yeah, you you definitely see like this like weird. It didn't look out of place when you were walking in. But it's this weird kind of vine that kind of hangs, that is cut, is like it's in a kind of a grid across the ceiling. It kind of hangs down in, in the various places where you saw those microphones. And is it like in a line or is it just like at various points throughout the room? It's it's at various points throughout the room. Okay. There's no there's no real pattern to it. Um, it's It's very, very cleverly made to look like a vine. Sure. No, I was just, it was more like, is there like a linear path that it, we should follow or is it just general areas? So, okay. It's, it, so, yeah. it's just kind of general areas. Then I will point those out and just be like, all of those things are connected to whatever's on the other side. Some sort of microphone. Maybe that has something to do with that crowd I saw watching us on the screen before Agent 3 tried to fuck me up. I mean, we think this book leech thing is the code snippets we can give back to our guy on the ship, or we we going to keep pressing on and finding more? I mean, I'm happy to cut down one of those vines and take those back. I don't know anymore. I Normally, I would have assumed, yes, absolutely, the book has to be the code, but... It's not a thing that's entirely out of place here, which I think is what we're looking for, and seeing what it was on the other side, I don't know what that means. We can right. take it if you want. I don't think we should give it to anyone right away. If I pick up the book, does anything? I mean, I'm actually fuck. I'm, I pick up the book and just put it in my backpack. Yeah, as as you pick it up, yeah, it's still it's still very cold to the touch, but it's definitely thought out uh, to, to to like a point where like it's not brittle anymore. Um, you can hundred percent just stick it in your bag, no worries. Okay. For the time being, we're gonna hold on to this. It might be out to kill us, but right now it's the only clue we have, right? Basically, yeah. I mean, I don't we think should cut the vine, a vine down for good measure, right? I think we should try. Uh, Tan, you're pretty good. Yeah, I'll so, go get sword, it. Swordstress? I don't know what you call... What, what, what is one who swords well? A sword friend. You are a very good sword friend. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so I'll go to the nearest vine doodad and attempt to cut it down. Yeah, and uh, why don't uh, and ten as as you you know jump up and cut it down, you can easily jump up and cut it down. But I'm gonna need you to make a dexterity saving throw. Uh, chat, can you roll me a one d twenty plus six, please? My death in this game. Okay, I got a 15. And let's see what chat gets. Bot. Wake up, bot. No! Bot. Bluey, you, you need to fix this. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hit you up as soon as the stream is over. <laughs> 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 
No, it's another crit fail. That's two, baby. Ah. Uh. Uh, have seen the secrets of the universe, and now we cannot lose. <laughs> <laughs> the bot's just saving it for the battle that's inevitable. It's fine. These microphones fine. are just very not well hidden. <laughs> not like anymore. Yeah, ones on the microphones. I, no, not anymore. Yeah, you you manage to uh, you you jump up and you just swipe swipe and cut it down and you just kind of hear this like low rumbling and everybody can hear it and feel it. And the cave wall from behind where it was just this just circular kind of cave wall starts to just slowly melt away. And you can see kind of back behind it, there is uh, this kind of weird, weird kind of rail system. Except that the rails aren't made out of metal. They are kind of made out of this like weird bamboo material and there is this cart sitting on top of it that can easily fit like six people it's a pretty big cart and the rails just go straight down into blackness what up guys let's get on the grizzly <laughs> after you Um, I'm not really used to seeing rock melt, so this looks like a probably somewhere to go other than back. Look, everything the feels like a out trap right now, so I guess we're going. Nox just like first, like first one in the car. Did <laughs> <laughs> did not oh, say anything. It was like, yeah, let's go. Yeah, so, so you guys, uh, you guys get in the car and the, the cart, I should say, and you guys start kind of slowly start, well, going down this track like, vroom, 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 as the wheels start turning, and the uh, it gets darker and darker, darker, and darker, almost you know it's like you're going into a Disneyland ride, and as you guys kind of like get lost in the noise of the wheels turning and it becomes the only thing that you can hear and then you start start seeing start seeing a light and you see in you see in front of you another cart on the track with uh th with three figures inside two kind of humanoid kind of anthropomorphic tigers and then one just large metal suit of armor and they don't see you coming they are they look like they're armed armed to the teeth uh and Dude, your car can we slow the cart down <laughs> like do we have control of the cart oh there are no levers on this cart and does it seem to be moving? Like, is it motorized moving? No, it's, it, it is gravity powered. It is Great. moving very, very fast, much faster than than the cart in front of you. It is on the same track. You guys are on, I would say, a collision course. But uh, but uh, since uh, but since tens uh, very very high, Ten. I guess since chats. Uh, sorry. Oh, yes? I was gonna say. I mean, I have a long sword apparatus. <coughs> Can I try oh, yes. and? slow us down <laughs> uh yeah absolutely why don't and uh and, and they're not even just because you uh because chat failed so badly on that uh saving throw they're not even gonna hear you uh doing this uh chat why don't you roll me a um one a 1d20 plus five and why don't you roll me um just a weapon attack with sword okay great if that doesn't work, I have plan B. Uh, it, no, we it, should be it, good. That's it, a it'll 21. Work. <laughs> yeah, it'll work. <laughs> Never mind. Yeah, I think it's fine. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, the, chat. The bot. Oh, chat. Brewmaster, why do you hate me? Shout out to the Brewmaster. Uh, yeah, so you, you managed to just, like, 
stick your beam sword just down into the tracks and it like starts melting kind of like the sap on this wood and it like starts gumming up the wheels and you guys all kind of feel the cart slowing down uh and then let's let's kind of map this out here really quick um we're at oh no what am i doing no no what are you doing it's real scary <laughs> i know <laughs> I don't know, but I really hope these tigers are those tigers that would treat me right from Zootopia. That is exactly they, what I was thinking. <laughs> they they are 100% those tigers. <laughs> Great, I'm staying in the oh, director. Bye, y'all. <laughs> Bye, Valid. Uh, and uh, why, don't, uh, why don't we roll initiative? <laughs> they don't see us? Correct. They, they are... So we have... What, no, su they, surprise. Yeah, they they are <laughs> what we would call in the D and D five E realm surprised. <laughs> do we have to fight them, or do we want to try to stealth our way out of this? Because I've got like multiple slots of pass without trace loaded and ready to go. That that is for you guys to decide on on, on your our initiative. Cart stoppage is. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I feel like they might notice something. <laughs> Hashtag cart stoppage, uh, Nox. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What is your initiative? 17. Uh, Booker? Uh, 17. Ooh. 10? 10. 10 for 10. <laughs> and uh, Fiona. 6. Going last. Sorry, you you held up three fingers and then said 6. It's a ASL Sign 6. Language. Oh, Three, so, so, six, six, seven, six, eight, nine. Three, six. I'm sorry. You I'm didn't sorry. learn anything during Delta Green? Look, <laughs> I I ate the eyeballs, okay? I learned always eat eyeballs. That is true. And numbers, numbers are, are good. your friend. That's the lesson we all learned. <laughs> Shame. Uh, okay, yeah. So since, uh, since you guys all have the surprise, you will all be getting a turn before uh, the tigers and the giant suit of armor. Uh, well, and and the uh, the power of uh, uh, RNG uh, Booker, you are first. Is is this a fight or a flight type of moment? Because I do not like the looks of this. Knox responds by like just pulling his bow off of his shoulder and just kind of flex like <laughs> doing one of these things. You know? like, sorry, what? What? Oh, no, that, what that's, is that's this good enough for me. Speak of? Uh, so, <laughs> so uh, Booker's visor is just going to go ahead and drop down in front of his face, and then these like blue arcs <laughs> of lightning you can see start like formulating behind it, and their entire cart is going to be enveloped in a storm, and they need to make a strength saving throw. Uh, chat, can I am you now please... concentrating. Can you please roll me a uh, 3d20? <laughs> As Booker is now concentrated. That's going to be a good night. Mm hmm. Uh, okay, so that was one. Uh, so we're going to take. So we're going to take Mrs. Warp Bob's first one and then, then the next two from the bot. So that's a 10, a 4, and a 16. Uh, the 16 makes it. Uh, so it, whichever it, one gets... It, it was a dex? It is a strength saving throw. Uh, so that is a... So with um, with modifiers, that is going to be a, a 13, uh, a 9, and a 20. Yeah, the 20 saves, so they do not take 12 points of bludgeoning damage, but the other two will. Okay. Yeah, and so then you... it's a... Okay, go for it. So a storm erupts, and it's just starting to whirl like chunks of ice that are now like hitting all of them. And then as a bonus action, out of the center of the storm, shoots a lightning bolt, and I'm going to go right for that giant big suit of armor. Okay, that was 20 uh, uh, bludgeoning damage, you said? Or 12? Uh, 12. And I'm going to assume a nat 20 hits. <laughs> no, of course not. Yeah, it's a, that is a crit hit. Let's go. <laughs> I'm so excited. I already rolled max damage. And now I get a crit. I love advantage. Uh, 
uh, that will be 34 points of lightning damage to the giant metal suit of armor. Whoa. And uh, what is the radius of this storm? Uh, the storm is a 20-foot radius centered on their cart, which should be the entire cart. So that's a 40-foot yep. wide circle dropped on top of them. And it is now very hard to hear in there, and it is difficult to rain. <laughs> Is it impossible? Is oh, never mind. <laughs> uh, you can still shoot in there. Um, it's just mm. oh, it's lots of noise as wind rips around and yeah, but it's difficult terrain for our movement, not for anything else, right? Yeah, difficult terrain is just for every ten feet of movement, you only move five. Okay. Oh no, I I did a bad. Uh, oh no, I put this shape. On on the map layer, but now I can't select it. I can only select the map behind it. <laughs> oh yes, <laughs> perfect. All right, we just know that their entire cart yeah. is in it. Yep, there's a just they're just entire cart. Oh, wait, I can fix this. Oh, wait for it. <laughs> Undo. We we fixed it. <laughs> perfect, perfect. Oh, oh wait, I can I can undo it. Holy shit. You're genius. Undo button. Oh, nope. I can't. I can't go back that far. You made too many Fuck. actions. <laughs> Everything is... My life is great. Dude, okay, technology. there we go. Perfect. Okay. Yeah, so it has taken it has taken its damage. You just see this giant lightning storm erupt around the cart, and you see both of the uh, anth anthropomorphic tigers just just getting shocked. Yeah, exactly like that. Uh, Nox. Okay, I am going to pull out my cross my crossbow my my bow and fire two arrows. One at each tiger. All right. <clears throat> Twenty something rather. I don't know. I don't remember my count. Twenty-two and eighteen. Uh, Twenty-two and an eighteen. Yep. Those are both hits, my friend. Animal cruelty. Like, I know. Okay, so they're both critical hits. So yes, yes, they are because four, they are surprised. Four D, four D eight. Don't um, be so smug just, about it. I, I rest assured, I am. <laughs> um. <laughs> <laughs> so it's actually gonna be two D eight. Let me roll one tiger here. Wait. Okay, with sneak attack, I don't get. A turn of sneak attack on each, right? I just get it one time, get, and I get to you add get that to once. It. Yep, and you you get to choose who, who takes the sneak which attack one I add damage. it to. Yep. Okay, so let me let me hold off on that because it's going to be fucking six d six. Um. All right, here, here's the first damage is or tiger. I, I know. Okay. Peta has entered the game. The final boss. Shit. <laughs> We've done a lot of damage Peta to animals gets to on this stream, the dogs. Apparently, like uh, you know, animal that but the animals have been fighting you too, so. Well, except poor Marion, we never did find out what happened to him. Yep, that's the fox. You know, he's, he's probably right, are, fine. Is there like what what's in between the like the tr like what's around us outside of the cart? So, so currently you you are still in a very very tight tunnel, right, right on the other side of their cart. You can see that the tunnel opens up and is and, and you can see light coming coming from that opening. Okay. Still doing math out there? Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Dude, okay. I haven't done basic edition in two weeks. Um, 
here's what here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna fire one arrow to the left tiger for 17 damage. Okay. And then Nox is going to have a very disappointed look at his on his face, and then he's gonna like crick his his head and kind of go, huh? And then pull back a second one even further and do 29 <laughs> damage, 28 damage to the second one. Nice. <laughs> Yeah, and kind of no, both that was, of them. That was bonk. I did not say that. <laughs> <laughs> but he's like, you're also bonk. not wrong. Yeah. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, and yeah. and and they both while they're yeah. like getting shocked, just these arrows just like impale their backs, just. Doosh. And that will be the end of my turn. And ten. am going to jump out the cart and get within 30 feet of these boys. <laughs> Are you, uh, everything so... everything else I have is useless. <laughs> um... Yeah, so, uh, why don't, why don't you make a, um, either an athletics or an acrobatics check, d depending on, on how we're drawing up the fiction of you running across, like, an aerial bamboo railway. Right. Um, Chat, why don't you roll me a 1d20 plus 6, please? I'm on the wrong page. There we go. There's my skills. Eels. The skills that eels. So it it doesn't matter. Um, so that's a... I can't do math. 16. Um, wow. That, in, that, is a, that is a tie. But, uh, but tie... Oh. Beans. But Ty, okay. Ty, it's okay. Ty, Ty goes to the person making the roll. Um, so, which is you? Yay! Uh, um, yeah. So, how do you so want to do this? She acrobatically jumps out of this cart and lands on what we're going to assume is a level of high beam, um, and dashes forward to Yerish. Yeah, where wherever that may be. And um, is going to use uh, produce flame to attack the. Uh, uh, let's just go for the big guy. Okay. Don't care about that. So that's a uh, fourteen. Hit. Uh, that is that is actually uh, a miss on this giant cool. suit of armor somehow <laughs> that feels right somehow looking looking at these stat blocks it's it's kind of weird these these tigers which which are actually tigers uh, in, in a, a tiger form have a smaller AC than this giant lumbering Fucking well, it's, suit of it's armor. Pure, it's pure metal. Like you probably hit, it just didn't hurt. Yeah, that's sure. That's fair. We can go with just that. Just dinked off. It's fine. Yeah. So you. Yeah. Now it's just a big giant guy who's on fire and doesn't care. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah. So you. Mood. You you cast you you cast produce flames, and it kind of, and this the suit of armor this giant like fifteen foot tall suit of armor just gets enveloped in these flames and then it it does not look like it's taking any damage as it just l looks behind it and just and you see just like a flash of two green eyes behind its visor as it as it looks you looks you right in the face i'm gonna use my react to yell ah oh, come on <laughs> <laughs> And you can tell that it's smirking at you behind its behind its mask. <laughs> <laughs> what a jerk! I hate that guy. <laughs> uh, cool. Fiona. Um, I'm gonna put my hand on Booker's shoulder. Hey, Booker. You wanna fuck that thing up a little bit more effectively? Oh, uh, what, what exactly are you thinking? How'd you like to be really scary? Oh, oh, let's do this. And I cast Polymorph and turn him into a young blue dragon. 
<laughs> Since he's a willing creature, I don't even have to. Ro he doesn't have to roll for it. He will just take it. Booker take, take. suddenly becomes a giant mechanical young blue dragon. Yeah, uh, and do you? Uh, so this is still a pretty narrow passageway. How big is this dragon? Is he? Did he just like take up the entire um, space? Well, it, it is a one. young blue dragon, so <laughs> it is only a large creature. So m the shape, I, I would be about the same size as that metal figure. Yep, correct. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. So you, your head barely clears. <laughs> And then for my bonus action, I'm going to summon my flaming skull-headed mace above the suit of armor. <laughs> because why not? Yeah, fuck it. Why not? Since we're here. And I and, and I have your mace saved, saved in my tokens. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> you know it's coming! <laughs> uh, let me roll for that sucker real quick. Maybe... Uh, that's going to swing down on him for a 16. Uh, 16 uh, to hit? <clears throat> yes. That is a miss, actually. Cool. Then it will continue hovering menacingly, as per usual. It does have a skull on it. It is very menacing. Boom. You, you're now a dragon. I love it. <laughs> and that I'm is going to... how quickly you had a young blue dragon model available but whatever it'll be fine everything's <laughs> fine dude roll 20 has like a great image search feature built into it yeah it's very quick <laughs> uh and <laughs> booker we are we are back up t to the top of the order and you can tell that that these these three creatures are now no longer surprised they are turning to face you and starting to pull out their weapons. That's totally fine with me. I will fly to the side of their uh, cart. Bloop. Uh, I'll rotate towards them. I don't want to, yeah, yeah. <laughs> How's that? Boom. <laughs> Perfect. I like that 90 degree turn. Swift. Um, and I am going to use my lightning breath. <laughs> in a line on all three of these. Yep. God, I love lightning. Um, yeah, so they need to make a dexterity saving throw of DC 16. Uh, chat, why don't you roll me a 3d20, please? Uh, so that is a 4, a 13, and a 12. Uh, so that is going to be a uh, 6... Uh, a six, a uh, fifteen, and a eleven. <laughs> they all fail. That is all three fails, which means it is fifty-four points of lightning damage. Okay. And not and a party member in sight. Yeah, maybe the mace. Maybe the mace took some damage. Mace is some spectral. Does, yeah, e easy. And then as my bonus action, I will shoot another bolt of lightning from the spell that I'm still concentrating on. Okay. And I'm uh, gonna shoot so, the... so you actually, I think that as soon as you turn into a dragon, that spell fizzles. I'm okay with that because I just dealt <laughs> so much more yep. damage. I'm not gonna press it. We tried to double check and we couldn't find it. So we're like, let's see what happens. Yeah, I I, I think that uh, be, because you, you are you are in in the consciousness of this dragon. You are no longer concentrating on the spell that Booker is. Yeah, yeah. The, the dragon form doesn't know how to concentrate on a spell. It it just wants to burninate things. Trondor, burninating the countryside. Uh, Nox, you see Booker just erupt into a dragon, spread his wings, and fly off towards the cart and just l lay some lightning breath right across the bow of that thing. <laughs> I think that like that's the that's the stage where like Booker sort of hops out of the car and looks up and goes, I'm "Fucking cool!" and then pops off two more <laughs> arrows. <laughs> so I'd like to be out, out outside of the. No, I don't have the, like you know. Yep. Yeah. So yeah. So you you can be like r right on right on the edge of the cart. Uh, yeah, I intend to hide behind the cart. 
Sure. Got it. <laughs> um, <laughs> Classic rogue yeah. move. Um, uh, 18. That, uh, and who, tigers, who are you tigers, firing tigers, at? Tigers, 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 yeah. tigers, tigers, yeah. 18 is a hit. And 23. Uh, then that is also a hit. Okay. Um... Yeah, now, now that so many things have changed since the Hubie attack pull, I'm running it again, just in case. <laughs> the, the, things have you, changed. It is a new round you, of combat. You're learning, I see. <laughs> okay, I'm going to do uh, 18 damage to this tiger. Yep. And 7 damage to this one. And then I will hide behind the into the cart again, and be out of sight. Right. <sighs> You're going to be able to remain a dragon, Booker, uh, as as ten. Uh, this this wear tiger turns turns back to you as as you cast uh, as you just cast. Uh, create flames mm -hmm. and it what, what is it gonna do what do i have here oh i have her I have fun things uh and snuggle. it is going to and it's gonna <laughs> run yeah, snuggle and, yep it, 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 it's gonna come and <laughs> give you a snuggle as with its scimitar that it pulls out of a sheath and runs oh. over and kind of and kind of does like a and it jumps out of the Cut cart it. and and does a grind on the tracks it looks pretty fucking <gasps> sick and it and oh, it comes out. So it's a competition and... now. <laughs> it might be a competition. I see how it as, is. As it comes down and slashes you. Uh, chat, can you roll me a uh, 1d20 plus 5, please? Wait, did I rebalance my stats or do I still have animal handling? We can just make friends with the tigers. Hang on. <laughs> Let me check. <laughs> Uh, that is a 12 against your AC. I don't yeah. think that's going to cut it. Just a 16, my friends. God damn. And we're here for oh, a Oh, yeah, we, we got you now. And, and kind of, and as it, as it misses with the sword, it kind of carry, carries that inertia down and kind of takes, takes a four legged bound and it goes straight for your throat with its, uh, with its teeth. Uh, chat, can you roll me a, uh, 1d20 plus 5 again, please. Man. <laughs> Is he close <laughs> enough that I can just trip him? <laughs> if he crits, yes. If he does a crit fail, <laughs> yes, of course. Oh, 13. Oh, That's not a crit fail. No, but it doesn't hit you either, I think, right? It still doesn't hit me. Um, no. Boo. Can I block him and it Gets him in the throat. <laughs> yeah, you, yeah, you, you like, him? yeah, you, you can give him like a can nice, like, you can give him a clothesline and stop him right in yeah. his tracks. Uh, he yes. and he is and he is right in front of you. He's like, Ow. just, just that Ric Flair slap right across the chest. <laughs> yes, perfect. Uh, and uh, it is now your turn, ten. Well. Stabby, stabby time. Yeah. You, Since I you have a friend over, right yeah. here. He's right in front of you. Yeah. Yeah. Right there. Boy, hope I don't biff this roll. I did not. <laughs> That's <laughs> less. I, I rolled an 18 plus seven. So I think That's I a miss. No, I'm kidding. I'm definitely kidding. Uh -huh. Roll that damage. Let's go. I could try rolling the right damage. Or not. Or never mind, I could roll max damage. That's eleven. Fuck. Hey. Chat. We gotta focus up on these on these rolls, chat, if we're gonna make it out of this one. <laughs> uh eleven damage. And oh, fuck. yes. Okay, I'll reset Second the attack. Oh, I got another eighteen. My goodness gracious. Oh my goodness gracious. 
Oops, crit damage again. What? No. Oh my goodness. Two little fours. Okay, so yeah, okay. another 11 yeah. damage. Yeah, and and you you start spilling blood as it's it's not it's he ain't dead yet, but you you definitely land two delicious hits. He tried to show me up, so we're done. <laughs> you can't let that shit happen. Hell no. <laughs> Absolutely not. And uh, Fiona, you you just saw a, a tiger uh, just. Just try and uh, stab ten, and then bite her throat, and she just gut <laughs> gut stabs him twice, just and, and clotheslines him no fucking way. Like, <laughs> cool. Um, <clears throat> what was I going to do? Because I have to concentrate <clears throat> on my dragon. Because I super believe in you, Tad Cooper, <laughs> and. Hmm. This might be fun. Let me check my uh, ruler. Do it now. We have a sick soundtrack. Sorry, I'm trying. I had to see who was in range. Ah, perfect. Um, I am going to look at the tiger who is attacking 10. Okay. And I am going to cast command. Which is a saving throw, a, a wisdom saving throw for him. Uh, chat, can you please roll me a 1d20, please? <clears throat> it's being slow. Uh, that is, it's a wisdom save. Wisdom save. Uh, that is going to be a 10. He's probably commanded. He is definitely commanded. I am going Boom. to look him dead in the eye and I am going to snarl, run, and point in the opposite direction. Yeah, and he just kind of like, he locks eyes with you and just nods. has no idea what just happened. Cool. So yeah, oh, okay, he's under bye. my command, and now he has to run away. Yep. Oh. And let's see. It is. Oh, it's a. Oh, it's bonus the, action! Uh... I'm gonna whiff my. I'm gonna whiff the armor with my mace. You clearly believe in yourself. Uh, yep. Yeah, no, I absolutely <laughs> believe in my ability. Uh, Yona, 18? 18 is a hit. Oh, that thank God. A hit. Yep. I just have to be more self-deprecating. Cool. <laughs> oh, uh, that's going to be a hit with some max damage, homie. So Y'all are y'all are maxing left and right. What the fuck gonna is It's going to be an happening? 11. Um, below, speed of armor. Off. I rolled below <laughs> average for my lightning breath when I did 54 points of damage. Good. <laughs> right, you did. Keep it up. <laughs> yeah, yes, yeah, so it, it it has taken damage. <clears throat> as you bonk it right <clears throat> on the head. <clears throat> cool. Just trying to like dent his helmet in so he can't see anymore. Yeah, and uh, let's see, what do we... Yeah, and uh, Fiona, uh, you my shocked face. You... What? I said my what? shocked face. It's yeah, me. I know so, so, something's about to happen. Uh, Weird. You you look at the cart and you can see the other tiger just unsling a longbow, knock an arrow, and just pull it back and let it rip. Uh, chat, can you roll me a one d twenty plus four, please? That's a that is a critical hit. That is a oh no it's not. It's a seven. No, it's not. Oh. Yeah, that's not gonna hit me, homie. My, I know my armor class my armor class is low, but it's not that low. 
but he does get two attacks. <laughs> that is cool. right. So that first one was going to be a miss. But that Watch second one is a critical hit. <laughs> cool. Let's go. <laughs> going to roll to see if I maintain concentration. Uh, I do. Yeah. Well, it, it depends on the damage, because if it goes oh, over fine. 20 damage, the DC goes up. Oh shit! Yeah. You're right. Uh, it's I. I don't think that it will. Uh, chat, I don't think can it you long bow. Can you roll me a uh, two d eight plus two, please? Yeah, but it's a wear tiger. It might be covered with wear tiger poison. We don't know. He said it was just a regular tiger. It mm. has hands. Doesn't make it a wear tiger. He might just be a tiger who's gotten in tune with his bipedal side. <laughs> uh, uh, I have six plus with six plus two is that. fourteen. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. 14 damage. And Great. now roll roll for your concentration. We're not going to keep the roll I did. Oh, what no, sorry. What? I I wasn't listening. I I made the roll. Okay, great. Before. Uh yeah. take 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 that take 14. Cool. And uh in chat, look, let's make this one count. We may not get too many times in this fight. Um, they they've been rolling got- too good. Since I got hit as a reaction, I'd like to use my Warcaster feature to fire back an Eldritch Blast at that fucker who hit me. Yeah, hell yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> she she can use uh, spells as reactions now, right? Um, once that... per short rest, I believe, as a Warcaster. I uh, took a feat. Or, or or is that attack of opportunities? Nah, hang on, let me find it again. We haven't I done it in a while. That. Warcaster, yeah, no. you can use your reaction to make an opportunity attack to cast a spell that has a casting time of one action and targets yeah. so, only that creature. So it's not an opportunity attack. Yeah, it's, it's okay. when it moves it. out of your reach. Yeah. Got it. Yeah, so oh, instead it's of just making adding a melee to, attack, to spells. Then you would, uh, Got it. Yeah. Fine, I tried. Whatever. The thing that really matters is that Bonk is still a dragon. That's all that <laughs> It's true. How do you feel still being a dragon, Bonk? It feels great. I never want this feeling to end. It only lasts right. for like five more rounds. We can get rid of him by then. It'll be fine. <laughs> but I want to be a dragon. Dragon. Uh, and and the uh, this this shield golem just lumbers to its feet. It hasn't moved yet, and as it kind of as it kind of gets up, you see the cart just flex under its weight. As it starts lumbering towards you, Fiona, and uh, and it, and it's gonna get basically, it, it's gonna try and step over you, Ten, and you're and you're gonna get an attack of opportunity. <laughs> Punch in. I don't know how tall he is, so maybe I can't reach that far. The knee. <laughs> totally <laughs> large creature. In the you knee. can reach Nards. Punch in the n- yeah. knee. <laughs> in the n- knee. <laughs> boy okay so that it was not great i had a 10 the 10 uh that is gonna mm-hmm. be a miss and yeah. it is and it is this man it is going to this now oh yeah it's he as he should be and he he is going to walk walk over t- to the cart with you in it fiona and he is going to grab your cart and just attempt to just flip it straight over his head um, I am going to need uh, both Fiona and Knox, since yeah, exactly like the table flip, uh, <clears throat> except pulling it back, not flipping it forward. Uh, I'm gonna but need both Fiona and Knox to uh, make a deck saving throw, or if you want to contest him doing it, you guys can uh, roll your athletics as well. I'm going to roll athletics and contest. Okay. Uh, chat, can you uh, please? I, for him? Yeah. Yes. Um, I I do not want to roll athletics. I would rather roll a dex saving throw to get out of there before he touches the cart. Okay. You can roll whatever you want. Oh yeah, my. No, that, I know. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I am, you I am, it I'm doesn't ma- leaving you. No, no, no. See no, it Chad doesn't knew. matter. Oh, oh yeah. Matter. <laughs> doesn't matter. No. Okay. I rolled a 16. I rolled this a 14. Is, this is our... Guys, <laughs> this is our third crit I'm fail. S- and we're like an hour into the stream. 
Oh my goodness. It's good to be back. <laughs> yeah, he he kind of like bends over to to like get the uh, to try and grab the cart and the tracks that he's standing on are not big. They're standard kind of railway tracks and one of, and his feet you just hear this crack crack crack. crack. And the actual part where he's standing just gives way and he falls down and barely manages to catch himself. Chat, can you roll me a 3d10, please? And he's going to take 16 points of bludgeoning damage as, as he basically just like does one of these on the, uh, on the track, <laughs> um, as he's now nerds. straddling. Yeah, he's now straddling anyway. the the knees, the knee. <laughs> okay. um, yeah, as as he's straddling the the track now, and he is for for all intents and purposes, he is prone, and we will give him that ailment, uh, and he's taken uh, sixteen points of damage. Chat, we it's not looking good for us this fight, and Booker. You are still a motherfucking dragon. I'm going to see if my breath weapon recharges. It does not, which is sad. I'm sad, <laughs> but I'm that quickly turns to anger as I will uh, engage with this last remaining uh, tiger on the cart and uh, use my multi attack on them. Uh, so I will be making a bite and two claw attacks. Uh, so my bite is going to be a 25 to hit. That's a hit, yes. My claw attacks are going to be a 24 and a 27. Yes, those are hit. Dude, this is like... Chat, we have never been beat this badly in an Aurora Zero game ever to date. Ever to date. The play, like this is the best the players have ever rolled and the worst we have ever rolled. Like confirmed. Uh, 25, 35, 39 plus 15. Um, so that is going to be a whopping total of 54 damage onto the tiger that is still on the cart. 54 damage. Yeah. 54. And, and you 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 bite into it. You just start ripping flesh off of it, and it just starts bleeding. And it is, it is, uh, it is looking pretty bloodied. I'll definitely say that one for you. Uh, we we can't <laughs> we can't land a hit to save our lives, guys. Uh, Nox, this this massive suit of armor just fell down right in front of you. The other tiger ran away, correct? Uh, it, it has not ran away yet. On its action, it will obey your cool. command. I didn't want to, like, nerf you out of an action, uh, out of, like, no, no. initiative on it. That's what, I just wanted to confirm <clears throat> that that had taken. I yes, thought yes, so, but, yes. Okay. It is It it is being commanded. It's prepping. And for, Great. Yeah, because command only lasts one one action. Uh, I believe so, so yeah. For, for its next action, it will run, and then that your command will have worn off. Perfect. Just but, wanted but to you are, but, you. but for its next initiative, it will be running away from you. Thanks. Mm. Nox is like, I have so many options. <laughs> yeah, I really do. Um, <laughs> but it's it's early fight, so I will uh, jump out of the cart and jump onto the back of this giant suit of armor and dive my two short swords into it. Yeah, why don't you roll with advantage? Because it is prone. Okay, then I will roll each one twice. Okay, 22. Uh, that and is a, that is a hit, yes. 24. 22 and 24. That's a With hit. advantage. Okay. Hit, 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 hit. And then... Oh, shit. This is a lot of... Okay, let's do this. Um... <laughs> you will get sneak attack. No, I know, but I gotta, like... I, I don't have that many sixes, so I have to, like... <laughs> <laughs> oh, so tragic. Twenty-three damage total. Twenty-three. Yeah. Right. 
And then I will uh, use the rest of my movement to get into their cart. Not, uh, I shouldn't say the rest of my movement. I will use my bonus action and dash into their cart. Yep, totally. And uh, you you do not get this tiger will not take an attack of opportunity because it is just focused on running away. <clears throat> And you're you're not actually underneath um, the dragon's butt. Noted. Yeah. <laughs> oh God, we actually. I was like, oh, we actually get a turn to to do do something. We don't because uh, this this were tiger is just gonna start running. He gets how much movement does he get? He gets thirty. Yeah, and he is gonna get. He is just gonna get this far, and uh, Aaron, you definitely you can take an attack of opportunity on him if you want, as he runs Nox. past you. Knox. Ah, I wasn't the only one who did it today. <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> <laughs> Crossover episode confirmed. <laughs> I will take the uh, sure the attack of opportunity for uh, fourteen. Uh, that is a hit. Okay, I will do my 1d6. Uh, four damage. Hey, it's still alive. Wow. Don't rub it in, Zep. <laughs> I'm, I'm just surprised. <laughs> I'm not rubbing it in. I'm just surprised. <laughs> uh, and 10. You uh, you are right, right next to a prone giant suit of armor. Yep. Gonna stab that boy. Goddamn yeah, right. Uh, so that's a 17 to hit. That is a hit. Wow. You got it, actually. Good to know. Um, three plus three. That's six damage. Second attack. Mm -hmm. Ooh, that would be a critical fail. Let's go. Finally, we can do some damage, guys. <laughs> Isn't it prune still? What's up? Oh it's shit! Prone. You're... I critically did you roll... failed. But no, but, but but did you roll two twice? Two critical and ones. And then keep the higher one. No. Yeah. Fuck. See, yeah, yeah, because oh. you you do have advantage. God damn it! Sorry, roll twice. that second one. one is in fact higher. Uh, that would. It be, is in fact a, a critical hit. This time. <laughs> oh, no, I wish. <laughs> Another seventeen. I'm sorry. Holy it's a seventeen fuck. to hit that's, this damn time. Damn it! That, that's that's a hit. It's not even a miss. No, it's not a good miss. It's ten, a hit. ten, just one, one. Dude, my my emotions are on a wilder roller coaster than uh, than the carts you're on right now. Uh. I'm so sorry, uh, but <laughs> okay. I hope another eight damage will make you feel better about it. It makes me feel worse. Makes me feel worse. <laughs> it could have been more. You're right. It could have been more, have. but but I still feel worse than I feel than if it was a critical <clears throat> miss. Uh. Would you like to do anything else? Uh, n n no. I think I think I'm okay <laughs> right here. Yeah, I think and you, I'm okay. Yeah, you're you, you're just going up, and you're and you you notice that it has these like openings in its armor, and you you find all of them as you just as you just start stabbing it through through just the joints, and it just roars in pain. Fiona. Um, self-preservation versus damage. The name of this game. Damage. Clearly, they uh, yeah, can't hit not us. Hit yet. True. Um, you know, let's keep it interesting for chat. I will go for damage instead of running, which is what I was originally planning to do. I'm gonna cast a nice little uh, guiding bolt on our big chunky boy in front of me. Okay. The golem, not me, right? Uh, God, no, not you. <laughs> that Chonky, is... Not spunky. Yeah. That is a 21. Yep, yeah, that's a hit. Okay. Okay. Excuse me while I gather my... Ooh. 
Will you be pleased? I rolled real poorly on that, so that's gonna be eight damage. Uh, uh eight radiant he, damage. He, he's, if it he's matters. Still, he's still alive. No, he's he is radiant damage that he takes normally. Cool. And then as my bonus action, I'm gonna move my um I may not even have to move it that much. I'm going to shift my spectral weapon over the tiger that is in the process of running away and attempt to smack him. Literally yeah. smack the fear of God into him. Yeah, go go for it. These things are pretty easy to hit. Yeah, I wasn't that worried. That's uh, math 23. That is a definitely a hit. D d I definitely. <laughs> Man, I should have had roll 20, or I mean a D and D Beyond roll for that last bit of damage. That would have been so much better. Uh, oh, we we got a fucking subscriber in the house, everybody. She's got access to digital dice. <laughs> I do. Um, that tiger will take eight damage as well. Holy shit! Uh, yeah, tell me about how your spear, your 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 uh, spiritual weapon just uh, wrecks this guy's shop and kills him. Oh. Uh, it's, it's so it's this giant you know spectral mace skull head I think we decided glowing red eyes corona of red flame behind it and mm -hmm. it just like the eyes kind of flare and the flames around his head kind of flare and it just cracks down on his skull and just drives it straight into the cart yeah and it's just the cart just starts to slowly fill with blood that is just oozing out of this guy's his, his heart probably still pumps like a couple more times. And just the blood just starts to fill the bottom of this cart. And he's dead. Goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> you are the weakest Damn link. It. What the? <laughs> and, uh... <clears throat> take him out of the encounter. Uh, and just the, uh... Fiona, this this tiger, this last one just looks looks at what you did to his friend. And uh, do, you, do you have any more action? Or are you are you good? Oh, I wish I had more, but unfortunately, okay. that's it. Okay, good. Okay, excellent. Uh, and it just l looks back at you and just knocks another arrow, and just poof, shoots it right at you. Chat, roll me a one d twenty plus four, please. The seven. Nah, God. dude. That's the oh, same thing are... as friend rolled. They're real bad at arrows. We're just getting wrecked. My goodness gracious. Uh, and then uh, ten, it it lowers its bow to you and takes a shot. Uh, chat, can you roll me a 1d20 plus four, please? <laughs> Bro, what did you do to the bot? Dude, nothing. I have been loving and caring for the bot. Like, the bot has been getting massages, like manicures. I took it out to dinner last night. Like, look how it treats me. Look how it treats me. <clears throat> maybe you aren't. Maybe you aren't doing enough. I I know that's. I'm feeling incredibly inadequate right now. Let me tell you what. Um, <laughs> and uh, yeah, it just whiffs, right? Ten. That was I. That was a, a what? Yeah. That was like a, a yeah. an eleven. That's. Fuck. That's a negativo, <laughs> sir. Do its problems. Be attentive. Uh, okay, we get we, we get another chance, chat. It is it is time for for the golem's turn, as it is going to it is going to use half of its movement to stand and back up on the, on the tracks, like very like rickety, as it's like trying to find its balance. It finally does. And uh, Fiona, it's it is going to uh, start lumbering towards you. Uh, Ten, you may make another opportunity attack as it leaves your melee range. It only took it it, it, it only took it like six rounds to get over here. It's fine. <laughs> he had a little slippy bippy. It's okay. <laughs> yeah, just 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 a little bit. Just a little slip. Trying so hard. Uh, what was your attack of opportunity? 
Uh, I am going to go ahead and uh, stab that boy again. Right in the back of the knee. Yep, because maturity. That's a 21, my friends, to hit. That is a, that is a hit. Let's roll that damage. I used to be a monster like you, and then I took a stab to the back of the knee. <laughs> Oops. Uh, so that's six more damage. Yep. And you can see that it's starting to, like, ooze this, like, motor oil-looking gold liquid as you as your sword just, like, slides through the knee joint. Uh, and it, like, kind of, like, rick- like it, it stutters a little bit, but but it keeps going. And Fiona, it now towers over you 20 feet tall, and it just slams both of its fists straight down on top of you and the cart. Chat, roll me a 1d20 plus 7, please. That Let's will in fact finally hit. Good job. <laughs> okay. Did it. Uh, now roll me a uh, 2d6 plus 4. Uh, so that is going to be 12 damage. And we're going to take uh, Mrs. Warp's roll for its second fist attack which is going to be uh, 14 plus 7, 21. Uh, so let's get another 2d6 <laughs> plus 4 damage. We're finally dealing some damage. Let's go, chat. Go. Oh, and that means concentration rolls. Yep, yeah, I'm waiting exactly. to see the total damage. How, uh, what's the increment that the DC goes up by? Do you remember off the top of your head? It the is volume? half the damage or DC 10 Four. whenever you are hit. So it's going to be two DC yep. 10 rolls. Yep. Okay. Yeah. And that'll be 11 damage for the second one. Okay. Nope. Sorry. You At least back you're over say bye bye at, dragon at least you're over the cart so you don't have to like make a crazy deck save to like not fall to your death <laughs> can i yep. just will nope. myself to be in the shape of a dragon nope bye dragon uh it uh uh this i slam down on the cart and like bounce my tbi and it like rattles my brain and i can't focus for a second <laughs> yeah and you you kind of like get up and through and like you know around the around the uh, the golem you can you see Booker back uh, back in his back in his mech form. I probably just shout, "Oh fuck!" <laughs> I see what you did there, Agent Maggie Carter. Uh, Booker, <laughs> you you are up. Uh, Booker is going to just jump into the air. And, and try to fly again. And then at this point, I'm going to have Booker pull out his dagger and run at the tiger and just try to like stab the tiger like it was my claw and just say, bring it back. <laughs> and just start trying to like madly, like trying to rend like it was a dragon, except clearly I'm not. So yeah, I'll just pop out my like, dagger from his uh uh from his wrist and just like sink it in like he's trying to rend like he was in his dragon form and this is gonna yeah, be embarrassing uh, roll an attack uh that will be um let me see i need to equip my items so i know how much i roll to attack with oh that won't be bad that's a 19 to hit that's a hit <laughs> Fuck yeah, and now look out for this big boy damage. Oh, Five. average damage. Four. <laughs> Rock yeah. yeah. Suck it. And, and it's it's definitely like, you, you probably stabbed just like right into the same place that, that you bit before, so you're not dealing with any like hardened skin right into flesh, and it just reels back and just shrieks in pain. And it's it's looking like it's on death's door, y'all. Uh, you know what? not dead I'm, yet. I'm, I'm burning some points and I'm going to just like flip up the visor and just like 
try to breathe out lightning at it, and it, I know it's not going to work, but I will use Shocking Grasp to at least electrocute it with my other hand. Um, that will be a 17. That's a hit. And that's going to be much more damage than a single D4. <laughs> um, that will be 18 points of lightning damage. Holy shit. Yeah, how does it die? You, you got him, dude. Holy fuck. <laughs> yeah, so I think Booker just is in a weird frenzy where he like can't fly and on like his third jump he just jumps onto the back of this tiger and is just like daggering down he's like bring it back and then the last one is just an electrified like lightning touch as he like tries to rend the backside of it kind of just eviscerating the backside and it just burns to a crisp full carbon y'all and Knox, you are up, uh, my friend. Great. I am going to stand onto the corner of the cart that I'm that I'm in, and kind of get like I assume that the guy in the in the um, shield, the body armor is like not. He flipped our cart, right? Uh, so no, he, he failed no, at he, doing that. He he crit failed. He Your failed. cart is you, yeah yeah. yeah. Your, cart's Your cart is like cracked. Is, is, is cracked up, but it's still like he like slammed his fist down, so like the floor is probably cracking. But it's still okay. it's still a cart. It's still doesn't structural. matter. Doesn't matter. Okay, well then, <laughs> never mind. Forget all that. Uh, I am just gonna stand up on the corner of the cart that I'm in and shoot two arrows at him. Um, that's it. All right. Uh, and it's going to be. Uh, I don't want to do the math, but I know they hit twenty uh, one and twenty five. <laughs> Yeah, th those are those are those are hits. <laughs> it's been so long since you've played darts, you can't even do oh, math anymore. I, it's not about that. It's about not wanting to, bro. Oh, okay. 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 Excuse me. Excuse me. Twenty-three. Twenty-three damage. Twenty-three damage. Yeah, and it's a. Uh, as the arrows just end up, you know, normally they would just bounce off its armor, but for some reason, its armor is like growing a little soft and the arrows just stick in and this, and this golden viscous liquid just starts oozing out of them. Gross. Okay. I'm done. <laughs> cool. I'm done. Mm -hmm. I was just I was deciding whether or not I was going to do anything else, but mm. I, nothing feels particularly epic in nature. So, go ahead. <laughs> Whoever's going to kill it kill this motherfucker all right uh, you, you guys you guys got to actually roll extremely well to kill it this round uh, challenge ten. accepted <laughs> you are halfway between the, <laughs> the two carts this golem has just walked over you and is now smashing on fiona uh, yes i will be uh going after it um if i can toddle my way over do i have to get back into the cart to reach it or can I reach it from uh you, you you you'd have to get on the edge of the cart okay um can I easily get on the edge of the cart or oh, yeah yeah no, no do problem I need to do a check that? okay great yeah, you, so like I'm at, there. at this point the carts have stopped moving you can easily walk right. in you, you know you don't have to do like cool skater shit to get there anymore maybe not logistically but emotional. But I do it anyway. <laughs> but I do it anyway. Uh, did some cool skater shit to get over there, and now I'm gonna stab him. Oh, uh, that's a can't do math. Fifteen. Uh, that is a miss, unfortunately. Beans. Try to do better. Well, if a fifteen didn't make it, that ain't gonna make it. <laughs> Um, I am going to use uh, my action, action surge to get an extra two uh, attack. Yeah. Uh, okay, that's two. much better. I rolled 14 plus 7, so that's a That 21. is a hit. That is a definitely a hit. Uh, 9 damage. Yeah, and as and, uh, as you slash it, um, more of that gold viscous liquid comes out, and it's and it's visibly in pain. Good and gross. Uh, next tech was a sixteen plus seven to hit. Yeah, math math says that's a twenty three. 
Uh, and Matt yes, says that is that's over <laughs> whatever I threshold. I over needed. 17. Uh, yes. So that's 10 damage that time. Okay, and it is it is looking it is looking pretty bad. That, those are some good damage rolls. Um, I Fiona. am so glad I remembered that I have that. <laughs> <laughs> um, this monstrosity is just just in front of you and just got and just got hit twice in the back by ten. Cool. Um. I'm going to say a little prayer and uh, yeah, and uh, channel divinity to turn myself invisible. Okay. <laughs> okay. At which point I will then use my movement to run around behind 10. Done. Are you going to give me a little caca or something? <laughs> no? Um. <laughs> No, oh, yeah. because I don't trust that you're not going to turn around with a sword aimed at me, and I'm not in another plane. I'm just invisible right now. Um, but I will. But I will. While I'm like standing invisible, kind of just, you know, twitch my other hand so that my fucking uh, mace can move 20 feet towards this guy since everybody else is dead. Yep. So, like, you guys theoretically should know I'm still about because yeah. my mace is still lurking menacingly in the air. Oh my Have god, the mace is taking over. Have we seen you blink when your mace exists? Hmm? Have we seen you blink when your mace is out and about? No, my mace has never existed at the same time that I've been blinked. Cool. Yeah, and uh, this... Love it. And this golem just starts like wildly looking around. You can tell he was looking for you, Fiona, and he is just going to swing swing his his hand just straight straight back. And um 10, I'm going to need you uh, chat. Can you roll me a yeah. uh 1d20 plus 7, please? And Fiona, I'm going to need you to make a dex saving throw. Yep. It's a fuck. Fuck. <laughs> it's five oh, plus okay. seven. Plus seven makes yeah. it a twelve. <laughs> That's still a twelve. Twelve. Twelve's not enough. Uh, what is uh? What is your deck saving throw? Twenty. Natural. Natural. <laughs> so for I... a total of twenty-one. <laughs> Exclamation mark table flip in the chat. I quit. Stream's over. <laughs> Fuck you guys. <laughs> well, guys, that's been Aurora Zero. <laughs> uh, uh, and uh, this is this this was not our fight, guys. Yeah, and as it just swings its hand around, and I think you guys you you both can just easily duck this hand, uh, Booker. <laughs> Oh god. I thought we were killing that thing last round. Was not prepared. I am going to Oh god, how far away is he? It's pretty far away. Um Now that I've like mutilated this body a couple times, I'm going to go ahead and just grab the like top half of this tiger torso and just throw it up into the air and then I'm going to cast Catapult to shoot the body at the golem. <laughs> You're so morbid. I'm... Uh, B Booker is not happy right now. He is venting his anger as best he can. So yeah, I'll cast Catapult at a second level. So the golem needs to make a Dexterity saving throw, DC 15. Uh, chat, can you roll me a 1d20? And I know that he has a negative dex because he is a giant lumbering golem. Yeah. <laughs> that is, that is a, an, an 11. Ew. So he gets hit for 22 points of bludgeoning damage as his old compatriot slams Fuck. into his face. 
Yeah, how does how does his old compatriot kill him? That's that that's a big death. Fuck, damn it! I I I think the top half of one torso just impales just into his chest and just topples him over the backside of the other cart. Yeah, and he's just <clears throat> gone. <laughs> And, uh, yeah, and he's, and this, like, there's this weird kind of, like, pool of this, like, viscous gold liquid, uh, starting, you know, that's just left at the bottom of, uh, of the other cart. That was a very well-timed song ending. As Some we are fire. out of combat. Cool, I will consider that the end of my next turn, and I will suddenly pop back in. Uh, ten yelps. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> didn't mean to <laughs> startle. Um, wave my spectral mace away. <laughs> didn't have much of a better plan. Sorry about that. Yep, that that's cool. cool. It's cool, cool, cool. Mm. Didn't know you could do that. You disappear a lot. That seems to be like a thing tricks to gods. Really like what to can do. I say? That's literally Fair the power they give us. Creepy. Uh, anybody? Anybody hurt? Besides me? Christ. Nope. I, All I'm good. good. Great. Is there... Can I poke around the um, big cart and just make sure, like... I want to see if their cart has any, like, controls on it either. Oh, uh, why don't you... Why don't you roll me an investigation and let's see if it has controls. Uh, chat, roll me a 1d20 plus 7, please. Uh, nah, I... I missed. I hit a one. Oh, a, 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 a critical miss. I did. I mean, it's don't a, worry. It's you tied. tied. Common parlance. <laughs> wow, we tied. Oh. Holy! F oh, oh my god. My god. <laughs> that that means that you succeed. I wow. Guess. <laughs> what the round fuck? of applause? What? The it fuck? has fucking controls. It's got something. I don't <laughs> The bot has that, got that, to that's go. Four? That's four. That's four or five. I I feel like it's nine. And e just easy. Each, each one, f each one feels worse than the last. So that's why it feels. Yeah, it really, <laughs> it really does. Um, and yeah, you. I don't want to give this to you, but I, you, you won. <laughs> um, on a crit. Uh, yeah, there, there are definitely. Uh, there's definitely like this. This lever that is sitting in sitting in the middle position, uh, on on the cart, and you you see that you guys are out in the uh, the kind of track opens up, and it you can tell that this is like some sort of like service track for maybe like where a long time ago they were like you know pulling out some like you know coconuts or something in on these carts or some some sort of tropical jungle type thing. Okay. Um, and, uh, you, you see that, that the, uh, that the track kind of spirals back down, uh, towards the, uh, the, the forest floor and a little bit of the ways through the forest, you, you can see kind of the, the metal area of, 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 of Aurora 17, the, the space station where, where you, uh, have docked past that forest. Mm-hmm. Before anyone gets in, or I guess while it's just me and Nox in there, I'm gonna look at him. Nox and Booker. Anything. N yeah, Nox and who? Oh, Nox. It's Booker. Yeah, Booker. Sorry, what did I say? Nox. I'm Nox. You're Nox. <laughs> and we're Nox. all Nox. <laughs> Today we're all Nox. Um, I'm gonna look at Booker and not say anything and reach towards the lever. And if he doesn't like respond in any way, I'm just gonna like. Pull it slowly and, and, and yeah, no, you you definitely just see Booker like on his knees, like zoned out, staring at like a corner where no combat took place. Boom, and I'm just gonna push it to see what happens. Yeah, and Report. there are definitely controls, and I think that since you you both critted this cart, just it's. It's like you pulled the chalk out of the wheels and this thing is a ton of bricks and it just starts to take off and Fiona and Ten are not on it. 
and if I pull the lever the other direction and try and stop it, does it break? Uh, why don't why don't you uh why don't you roll me athletics to try and to try and slow this thing down? Uh, chat, roll me a one d twenty plus twelve, please. As I start to roll away, I slap a hand on my own shoulder and give myself a bout of cure wounds. And then I look at ten. I think we're walking. Uh, that looks to be ooh. true. That is a twenty-seven. That's a twenty. Yeah, that yeah, that's twenty. Yeah. Okay, so unless I critically hit, we're well, not fucking stopping this thing. I'm and uh, it's an eleven. <laughs> yeah. So this. So the the oh, cart. Son just... of a. <laughs> yeah. I wonder what this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this, this. It's yeah. Ten and Fiona. You, it just. It just looks like a chalk. Like like the wheel chalk just got ripped out from this thing, and it is just whoosh, gone down, down the tracks. <laughs> how how far? How fast? How. Mo- is it worth it us is, trying to just walk after it, or do I need to whip it, out the magic? <laughs> uh, you are. It is. It is a very, very. It's probably like. It's probably about a mile or so to, to the forest, and then another kind of mile <laughs> through forest till it is where you. It's. It's quite a long ways. Okay. Fuck it. I'll let. Uh, I won't save my spell slots. Then I'll let chat have some fun if we get into more combat. I'm gonna look at ten. Hold on. Hope you're not. Cossack, grab her. We're gonna dimension door no. onto the cart. Because <laughs> <laughs> uh, I can Nesher, still see it. Can we get a pop, please? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> nice. nice. That is like yeah. <laughs> in in Aurora Zero. Whenever somebody teleports interplanally, that is the sound that they make. Interplanal. I'm so sorry. Nestor, what I will seen? learn to do it myself. <laughs> uh no, it's fine. I'm actually I'm getting pretty close to just um having a sound cue play that I could very easily send a Discord. <laughs> Don't you worry. I'm cool. a little shocked we haven't yet. I uh, you know what? We'll get there. I'll have it ready for next week. <laughs> <laughs> Tune in next week. All right, folly stage so all we can. Uh yeah, so you you are you are in, you are in the cart. Welcome back. Yeah, I forget. So I always forget you have dimension door. You're welcome. It's, so you ruin cool. our fun. Well, yeah, and then you're burning spell guy? slots. Did you really <laughs> want to play through three hours of me and Ten having girl time while we trek through the jungle? Because that doesn't really sound like a good time. This would be the we definition make of the fun. worst girl time ever. <laughs> Neither of us would do that well. No. <laughs> yeah. So, you like. To start, you just hear, son of a bitch! And then, like, you hear the pop, and then a, holy sh- Hey! Sorry! Nice. Oh. nice! No, no, no! Good. Do not apologize! Great! Yeah. I knew you guys what had it together about, the dude? whole time. Listen, what if, what if it opened a secret passage? Look, everything's a trap, right? We all agree that everything's a trap, right? So... Or, I was or not being on it when he started it, just in case. Or a potential new adventure. See, you guys, it's all about the attitude you carry when we're out here doing this. What a shockingly positive for the amount of murder and carnage that we've encountered while we've been here. Don't say that. I feel like, like you're you not were about fun. to go on a new adventure. We were about to walk. Yeah, that's Which really the key here. Different kind of adventure. Is a different kind of adventure. Yeah, one that involves a lot of walking. Anyway, doesn't matter. We're here now. Let's all just, um... Are we going back to the ship? What's the plan? Uh, Not that there's much of a plan, but if there was one, what do you think it would be? (laughs) Do we have any control of what the plan currently is with us? Not recently. (laughs) Yeah, and uh, as you guys are kind of whizzing through the jungle, you... You see off in the distance, uh, you see the Kingfisher still, still, still docked. Um, and you guys are, are moving towards it. Uh, 
apparently very quickly. Yes. Mm-hmm. Is, I mean, like, if you want to try and stop this thing, be my guest. But I think that our destination is pretty set for us. Yeah, we got we we should go down there. I mean, there's nothing right here. Yeah, what's the point? Sorry, I'm... You all right, Bucca? You sure you didn't get hurt? No, I'm physically fine. I just isn't. I'll just be over here. And he'll just kind of go slump in a corner as just the cart is what, like 120 feet around? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I, I, I'm out of ideas. I think Nox just like turns and looks towards the ship and waits for the cart to continue rolling. Yeah, and the cart uh, definitely, uh, it it just kind of grind, grinds to a halt off in kind of like what looks like in an abandoned kind of warehouse um, district. And and the ship is like probably like right, right on the other side of this thing. And as you pull up, you can see, you know, Dithy... Um, you know, standing in in the kind of like on on the gangplank, like looking at the cart, like squinting. He's probably about like three or four hundred feet away. Ten waves, real big. He just. Well, that's a relief. At least someone's kind of where we want them to be. Fingers crossed. Yeah. Well, we think she's where we want them to be. Yeah. Big old TBD on that. Guys, uh, you guys roll up, or do you guys want to do do anything else uh, at the jungle cart? Don't think we can. I think we're just gonna roll up. Yeah. Actually, I would like to do something at the jungle cart. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, you can't. Everybody left. No, I'm kidding. Ev- everyone, <laughs> get out. And then, oh, Knox is going to take a flying kick at the lever. And then to send it back. <laughs> send it back. Yeah, that's fair. That's fair. Yeah, and I I think that the crit rolls uh, work work both ways. And as soon as you <sighs> kick kick that lever back, the cart just immediately blasts off in reverse. Okay, and then I, I guess I'd have to take like an. Uh, you're gonna make me take like an acrobatics check or something uh, to see if I jump out successfully yep, to get out. It's like, well, I guess we're going back to get Knox. <laughs> Fuck, this sucks. I have critically failed for the humor. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't even have time to uh, cast guidance and help you out. Not that it would have, but yeah. And, I mean, I could um, cast pretty die if it really matters, but I don't think you'd let me on a on a on a not, on a not, not on a crit, crit fail. fail. Oh no. Uh, and, yeah, and, and plus four is still in that one. <laughs> uh, and that's right. Yeah, and you you kind of like cheekily just like go to drop kick this lever and yeah it the cart just whoop, immediately starts uh starts whooshing back with uh with you in it and like the whole party and Dithy just kind of like watch this happen and Dithy screams should we go get him? No. He'll Don't be think back. we can. I think Brax can fly the ship over like to like pick him up. He needs to learn a lesson. 
Okay, while I'm while I'm gone in game, I'm going to be actually gone. I'll be right back. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, and uh, there's a lever in my boot. Uh, and yeah, and you guys roll up, roll up to the ship, and Dilly is. We should have uh, maybe go pick him up though. He has the book leech power oh, code man. thing. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. Let me uh, let me go uh, yeah. Let's let's go get has some uh, vine microphones if you want to take a look at them i'm gonna to... go to my quarters if you don't mind yeah, and yeah, we'll just like things. slowly walk just like toddle down the hallway <laughs> and then realize i'm going the wrong direction and then just like turn back up through the ship and like pass everyone again <laughs> you're just depressed <laughs> just depressed and is just way like zonked and out of it like you're like, has he been awake for seventy two hours? Has he like now, what is wrong with this guy? Yeah. Uh I think we should Dithy, I think we should all go talk to Brax and then I think I need to go have a conversation with Booker. <clears throat> Not that I want to, but I think that's my fault. So Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Let's uh let's let's go. And uh she she leads you guys o over to the bridge, and and Brax is just kind of like sitting there, twiddling his thumbs. He's he, he's got his arm just like jacked into the control port of the ship. Um, hey, so uh, are we we ready to roll? Like, where where is everybody? Did you guys did you guys get well, the code? We might have. We're not sure. We found a book. Showed us or a, a leech. Well, we sh we found a book, and then when I looked at it from the other side, it was a leech. <coughs> Same as the microphones that when I came back here were vines. Unfortunately, they're all with Knox, who we're going to have to go pick up because he's sort of a giant idiot. Um, maybe, maybe this is just the time where Knox stumbles in, puts, <laughs> sits, sits down, like, a little ragged, maybe his, like... <laughs> Uh, I don't know. Maybe his shirt is torn, and he kind of just time like, has passed. The like mysterious been... Captain Kirk yeah, scratch. He gets punched yeah. in the face, and his shirt is ripped it's, open. It's probably been yeah. like I would say it's probably been like a half hour or so at least. Yeah, where it's like uh, like uh, enough that you couldn't get out, you know, for like thirty seconds, and then you finally <clears> get out. But thirty seconds is like it's been going so fast that it still takes you like a half hour to walk back. <laughs> yeah. Oh, scratch. He's here. He's got everything in his bag. And I like um, pull out the book, throw it on the table, and then go sit down at the nearest like seat. Yeah, totally. You need you need any? And I sort of wave my hand. Need any? All right, just give a holla. So, the book. What? What's in it? What you find? Don't you touch it. I saw what happened to the last couple of people who touched it. I saw what it looked like on the other side when they were touching it. I'd prefer not to. I pick up the bag and like hold it out to Brax. And he, he kind of like grab, he, he like, you know, does like a one of these like holds on the bag. Like, yeah. yeah. Look, I, you're going to keep making us do all your dirty work. You can get your hands dirty too. One, I think it's solidly our dirty work now. Uh, and two, like, what did you learn from it? What happened? We saw two people in a room with a bunch of medical tubes full of, you know, looked like mercury forming, reforming. Uh, Knox was somehow able to talk to them. They said they were on the new Federation uh, research station on Aurora Zero. They wanted us to uh, tell them where we were so they could come send someone to pick us up. We declined heartily. I uh, popped into another dimension and 
everything was just metal. We thought we were in the jungle, then everything was just metal, and there was a giant leech sucking on Nox's hand, and its eyes were glowing. So I froze the book, popped back in, and then we just had to fight two tigers and a giant suit of armor. So, you know, I'm not really having it right now. Said a new Federation research facility. Was it... Yeah. Operational? I don't think we got that clarification. Nox? They say anything to you? They were working, but... <clears throat> and said they had access to a director. They certainly seemed to get weirded out when we declared that we were ciphers. That's what the Prophet must have been working on. Getting in a research facility back online. There has to be information about that facility in this book. Well, you're welcome to take a look. When we opened it up, it was just like a portal. There's like a no, love no, 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 note. No, we, we have to get it. We have to we have to get it back to Agent 3. Of course we do. Say so. Like only we've we have we found a couple of artifacts that are like this, and you know we like normal people uh, like us. Like we we can't we can't use them the way they're meant to be used. They're 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 like they're like decryption keys. They have you know, old, only old programs that were written in the time before the war revolution can access these properly. The old programs that were supposedly all destroyed and now you're telling us are all still here somewhere. No, they're not all still here. I, 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 on, I, I only know of one. That's Agent 3. So you think she can decrypt this? I know she can. You think she can tell me why it's a giant slug? She'll be able to tell us something. I don't. I I don't know like how much she knows, how much she remembers her, like the memory banks are are scrambled. Like she, she sometimes remembers things. She sometimes forgets things about at that time. Guess we're off to Agent Three then. Yeah, I know she's she's waiting for us at a, at at Aurora Zero. No, we, we have what we need. We can get there. <clears throat> Look. Hey. Look, um. Oh, so, do we want to go anywhere else? We're going to, you guys, go straight to Aurora Zero? I'm gonna go. Can we just get this over with? Get some answers, finally? Yeah, 100%. Get some rest now. I've, I've been working on some really cool tech that I want to show you guys, but I'll, I'll give you guys time to rest and we'll talk tomorrow. All right. Excellent. Yeah. And, uh, he, and he, he goes and, you know, you, you hear the Kingfisher power up and lifts off away from a 17. And uh, you guys are on your way to Aurora Zero. Why don't you guys take a short rest if anybody needs it? Hey. Short rest. And Actually, I actually don't know if that gives me back anything. Uh, yeah, I'd say, I'd say I don't think so either. We did so bad on during that uh during that combat session. Ooh, that like might I think give me my I, luck die back not long ago. It should give awesome. you something back. I have the ability to get I got my action surge back. Bells. I mean I, I didn't use action surge and I had max health, so Yeah. I didn't even get I, my I spells used back. One thing. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I know, Blue. We did almost no damage. Yep. That's a fact. Fusing yeah. to give me back my HP. 
fine. I'll do it manually. Manually. I'm still manually. not up to full, but... Although I probably could be, but I'm going to give Chad a chance. <laughs> Tonight's the night. Yeah, and... Uh... And you want to, uh, did you want to go, uh, and so you guys can, you guys got, got a little downtime if you wanted to do any, any personal things. I mean, I'm going to go knock on Booker's door. It, it, it takes a while and Booker eventually comes up to the door after some assistant knock in, opens it up. Oh, uh, do you, do you need, need something? I need to know if I did that to you. Oh no! I no. It was it was a great time. It just uh, it was a great time, and then no, it, it it's hard to explain. It uh made me homesick. So it, it's it's just a weird feeling. Like it felt great. I felt powerful. I felt strong. I felt natural. It, and then it was it was it was gone just as quickly as it came. And and the highest highs. Kind of just bring the lowest lows. Oh, you don't have to tell me twice. Yeah, it just uh, no, it re really took me for 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 a sidewinder, and I just realized that it was the worst I'd felt just ever. Being that good and then not that was just it hurt, and then it just made me hurt because that shouldn't have been the biggest pain in my life, but it was. So, uh, I, I just, uh, do you have a time for like where we're going? I, I feel we're moving again, right? Just... Yeah, we're moving. Um, I think like overnight should be there by mid morning, something like that. Who knows? As long as we don't get waylaid by, I don't know, space monkeys or whatever else is going on this week. Yeah, no, I'm, yeah. D d don't worry about me. I'm sure I'll perk up. Just, uh, you're, your dad's a cipher too, right? Not as good as me, but he was one of the first. I, hey, that's that's fine. He's still around? Somewhere. I mean, my mom left, and uh, it's just been him and me ever since, so <clears throat> I'm kind of busy. I don't really... Um... It wasn't his fault, but I sort of stopped talking to him after things happened, and uh, he just sort of let me. I don't think he... <laughs> Knew what to say. Yeah, my, my my dad really didn't talk to me. He more yelled, but I, <laughs> I'd give anything to hear him yell at me again. So just, uh, I don't know. Uh, don't be afraid to open that door before uh, there ain't no house attached to it. I'm going to get some rest if you don't mind. But, uh, yeah. You do you just kind of shut the door before you can respond and you can hear Booker probably just like flop onto his bed just big old Here mech suit yo we are getting a raid Bang a raid. Hey, what is bang a raid? Bang a Bobby, how are you guys? Uh, wait. Welcome. I I actually super love bang a raid as a raid text. That is Let's such a good go. title. Yeah. How was your stream, <laughs> my friend? Bang Everybody, rang. welcome in. Tell us what you tell us what you were playing, please. Welcome Let's to the Let's also get Chris in the chat everybody. for bang a raid. We are a variety channel. We are live four days a week on Tuesdays. We play Dungeons and Dragons. This is Aurora Zero. It is our chat driven anime inspired Dungeons and Dragons campaign where the chat rolls all of the dice for the DM. They decide who we're going to attack. They decide major plot points. Welcome to it, guys. We we just we just got done with a with a perilous mine cart excursion whizzing through a jungle and the party is back in their space cruiser on their way to the space station Aurora Zero. Uh, the Kingfisher, if I remember correctly. Yes, the, yes. the ship's name is called the Kingfisher. Cool. 
Cool. So yeah, Booker slams the door in my, or shuts the door in Fiona's face. And at that point, she will just be like, well, I tried because she's because <laughs> her charisma is real low anyway. So she's like, <laughs> that was as good as it's going to get. Um, hey, Booker's charisma is real high, and he would like to think he persuaded you to maybe reach out to your dad. Yeah, no, she'll uh, she'll just kind of be like, all right, then, and then go, you know, grab a snack and take a nap or whatever. Yeah, and uh, anyone else want to want to do do a thing? Or are you guys gonna t- take your rest? I think um, Ten's just gonna call it a night. I I would like to just make a point of whenever we arrive there, Booker's gonna need some encouragement to get out of his room. So I would like to take one full vial of the red strange stuff <laughs> we got from Mission One that I've only ever taken a half dose of. Yeah, why don't uh why don't you uh why don't you roll me a a, a constitution saving throw? Chat, can you roll me a uh 1d20 plus 6 please? Uh would you consider this poison because as a dwarf I have advantage. Uh it is not poison. Yeah, I'm I'm willingly doing this. Yeah. <clears throat> uh con saving throw? Yes, please. 15. Uh, and so that is a, uh, it is a, that's a, that's a 17. Ooh, this is, this is fun. Uh, Booker, why don't you, why don't you just roll me a, um, a straight up D20? 11. Eleven? Eleven yeah, is so... what I got on a straight up D20 for whatever reason. <laughs> okay, yeah, so why don't <clears throat> as you you like slam this vial and you feel great. You it's like your heart starts beating faster, you feel energized. Uh why don't why don't you take a um take a, a plus two to your initiative as you um and then that is until your next long rest. Great. And, perfect. And also as you as you kind of like as you're like as you're like your your heart starts like beating faster and faster, you <clears throat> you feel um you you feel like you feel you can move, but you feel weak. And so you you will also, according to my my fun table that I've my my vile table. Uh, you will also be taking a negative one strength. <laughs> okay, okay. So is that negative one to all strength rolls, or should I just lower my strength by one? Uh, you Is that you should just lower your strength by one. Sick. And, and, and it, may, it may not actually make you know, <clears throat> make your roll go down. Oh, it does. Um, it definitely does. Uh, perfect. Excellent. <laughs> Some drugs are good. This drug can... This drug is good if you roll well. Uh, yeah. And uh, Nox, did you want to do anything else? You, you, you. Add- um, no, no. What I want to do, I think, it's a bigger conversation that I will have with you later. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> Foreshadowing. Boo. <laughs> Um, and that's my foreshadowing dance. There it is. <laughs> uh, and then you know, so the night passes, and you guys hear Brax Brax on the comms. Hey, uh, you guys come uh, meet me up at the bridge. I've got something exciting to show you. <clears throat> oh boy. And then uh, I, I kind of, uh, and you guys all, you guys all roll up. Uh, yeah. Booker will be the first one there, just kind of tapping his toe. <laughs> uh, Ten would probably be right behind. <laughs> hey, Book, doing a little better? 
Yeah, feeling great. We got to get going. I mean, there are things to do. We're probably at Aurora Zero now. We got all sorts of things to do. Agent 3's got some explaining to do. This Profit of 2, mm, yeah, there's probably going to be like an Agent 1 or like a Cypher 1 or a Profit 1. Like, there's there's things to behold, and we're going to hold them, and we're going to get them, and we're going to wrangle them. Hey, Book? Yeah. Hey, hey Book? Yeah, yeah 10. You, 10. Uh... What you need? Dude, I feel rested. I feel good. I feel energized. No, we're good. We're good. It's business time. We're here to do. We're here to act. What do you got for us? I would say at this stage is when Knox kind of walks in, like clearly, like kind of pop, you know, putting his jacket on, and just kind of like, you know, doing, doing the like morning time. Fiona... Yeah, good. You no, know, I was just say Fiona walked in in the middle of Booker's uh, string of words and just deliberately slipped. decided to dodge that. My hands. Yo, Allison. Allison. Caval Conti. Caval Conti? Nailed Caval it. Ca Thank Ca you for the follow. <laughs> Welcome to the Torpid <laughs> Gaming <Nailed> Network. <laughs> First try. Yep. Speed. Zero death run on that name pronunciation. Let's go. <laughs> hmm. All right, Brax. What you got for us? Cool. Look. Look, I've been, I'm not going to say hard at work, but I've been at work, like, making these, this really cool augmentation to your guys's, your guys's weapons and then the code that they are. Look, just, 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 just take, take this and just like, put a, just, just put a little bit on, on your blades. Look, it's going to, it's going to make them hit harder once and then and then and then it'll recharge and he he like hands you and he like hands you guys each this like little sponge that has that sound of like pulsing red and what he what he's given you is uh your your main weapons are can now once per long rest Either either you can get a plus five on your on your attack roll and damage roll. You have to call it before you roll, or uh, it can give your um, your weapon the <coughs> silver trait for one minute. Uh, Booker's gonna grab his and just kind of chuckle to himself, and be like, "Hey, Ten, your uh, sword's got two ends, right? Here you go." And just toss her my strange sponge thing. <laughs> Sorry, uh, can you read those back All one right. more time? Okay, once per long rest, you can either get uh, plus five to your attack and damage roll for for one attack, or you can give your weapon the silvered trait for one minute. All right, all right, all right. Uh, okay. And it has to be on a physical weapon. Uh, so, yeah. So this is for um. You know what? I, I'll I will give you you. You can add it to the spell. Well, I was gonna say yeah. I have physical weapons that I will happily apply it to. I've just never had to use them yet because I haven't <laughs> died yet. <laughs> uh, I wink. I, I wink. I I will let it uh, apply to to a spell attack as well. Cool. I think with that knowledge, Booker is still gonna throw his sponge away. Drugs are great. You, you just feel invincible, dude. I I feel invincible. Ten clearly needs a pick me up. Just moving so slow. <laughs> Look at that. Cool. Oh, good. They could do more damage. I was worried chat was overpowered. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Cool. I will reluctantly take mine and, like, pull my mace out of nowhere that no one's ever seen that I had before and, like, rub it on the top, but it also gets a bunch on my hand, and we'll call it good. Oh, of course.
All right, Rax, you, what's I the see, plan? I, I see you thinking there, Nox. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I... It's fine. Let's keep going. Are you sure? Nothing. The wheels are yeah. turning. Right now, nothing I'm thinking is uh, immediately relevant, so... Oh. Got them big plans. All right, I gotta take this sticky note off my screen. <laughs> Hello. We Hello. can hear you. Can you hear yeah, me? Yeah. Yes. Yes. <laughs> no, we can see you. I don't know what just happened. Everything just disappeared. <laughs> the the best part of that was you left and then a message popped up in discord was just obviously something got fucked okay and now we're <laughs> it's fine you, 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 you move every like 10 seconds at least it didn't happen in the middle of combat yeah. um well you all it straight up disappeared yeah that's nice cool. i couldn't Intense. tell what died it seemed like everything great um anyway i love that new makeup look you Controls, have going on thank you for Computer. Computer, no. Mm. Hello. 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 Uh, no, that's what I did. I shut down my browser. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it, Chrome. Okay. We are so Thanks close. For being... Okay, let's sure. see. Weird. Dude, the quarantine internet problems are real, everybody. Every week we have a new challenge to overcome. It's a replay, which. My other last time, really, this is a multi scenario right now. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Is it can you can you hear us okay or are we roboting out for you? You guys are fine for me. I don't know when anything is gonna kick it. I shut it down. The only thing that's running on it is doing everything else on my other laptop. Hopefully it helps. Yeah. I can hear most of what you're saying. Yeah, so you're you were you were really bad for a a little bit, and now you're getting a little better. Technology is well, fun, everybody. There's pretty much nothing else. In okay, we I if, if you can hear us, okay, we can hear seventy five percent of what you're saying. So we will. We will carry on and, and hope that it gets better. I can. Okay. Perfect. Yeah. I'll sit on Discord in case I need to help relay things. Or on Discord chat, I should say. Yep. And, yeah. um. Yeah. And. You guys are on your way to to Aurora Zero, and you go spend about like an hour or two, and you kind of do the uh, just kind of like gets up, and there's a uh, kind of like her eyes kind of look a little blank, and she looks over at you with Fiona and says, I, 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 I kind of have a little headache. I'm, I'm going to go, I'm going to go lay down. Um, where, where was, where, where, where where's the quarters again? Are they? Fiona kind of points, but, as she does, she's just like, "What? What sort of headache? What do you mean? What's what's happening? When did this? When did this start? What's happening?" Just, it it just it just started. I just I just I just can't can't think straight. I I go 
Then I'm gonna go. I just need to go lay down. And as she kind of like walks away, Brax looks kind of like looks at the kind of control panel and is just like, um, guys, we're, we're, we're losing power. What do you, power, power? What do you mean we're losing power? We, we, we just like just got all that data from Aurora 17 and now we're coming out here and what's what's the report why, why is this happening do we need more power we can get more power no like like, like the ship is just like can something seems like something's wrong with the engines like uh somebody needs to go give it a stern talking to with a wrench or like emergency landing no 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 like I like I can, can one of you guys just just get down there and give me a you guys, do you guys call it a sit rep in the in the military there, Knox? I'm not from the military, but he walks away towards the engine room. <laughs> bum bum bum. And then, um, and then, uh, did uh, did you where did you put the book? Knox, you you uh, gave it to Brax, I dropped right? it in. I dropped yeah. it in the room in, with Brax when they were talking yep. before. I gave the Brax the bag. Yep. We never declared what happened after that. And uh, and as <clears throat> as kind of Knox starts starts walking away, um, Trenton just bursts through the door, <laughs> and he's like counting: um, one, two, three, four, five. And I saw, I saw a Dithy going there. Six. Seven. There's an intruder in the cargo hold. I mean, a little bit of notice would have been really nice, Trent. Like, that's kind of an obvious thing. If there's another person inside the actual ship. Yeah, there's like, really not that many of us for you to keep track of. We're literally I all just in the same area. I just counted. This is me telling. This is me telling you there is somebody here that Look. should not be here. Is that related to the power drainage? Is that why we're losing power and speed? Is it power drainage? Speed. How do you not know? Oh my god! I think this is when you hear the like clunk, clunk, clunk of running steps running towards the cargo hold. Oh shit! Um, uh, did we divide and conquer two to the engines and two to the cargo hold, or do we all stay together with Knox? Uh, I mean, losing power and an intruder. The intruder's probably causing the problem. I think we're all going to the cargo hold. Great! Uh, Brax, is there comms down there so that we can, like, talk to each other about what's happening? Is that too much to hope for? Um, yeah, no, you can, you can definitely, you can definitely use just, I, I got comms in there. No problem. Right. And, it, and he, like, turns to Trenton. Right. Trenton kind of, like, looks up. I I can make it happen, yes. Trenton, 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 look at me. Look at me, Trenton. No fucking mirrors. No. None of that mirror bullshit. No We're mirrors. We're going down there. No mirrors. No mirrors. I mean, I will, I will read then, you myself if I see a single mirror down there. At this point, Fiona is done talking, so she takes off after Knox. Yeah, and uh, you. Ooh, it's a library vault. <laughs> Ooh, all the <laughs> rare books. Uh, and. Uh... You guys, uh, you guys cruise, cruise down, and you, you guys open the big bay doors, and you, you just see just this giant kind of vault door in front of you, and you guys hear on the comms, it's like you just hear Trenton and Brax arguing, just like, why did you have to make it like this? Well, 
Well, it's, you know, it's because, you know, encryption, compression, you know, you have to, you know, seal everything up. So just open the fucking door. Look, it's just not that easy. It just... Make hey. it that easy! Look, can, okay. Can you guys, look, just everybody grab a handle on the door and, 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 and turn. Now, do it now. Fuck. Nox says, this is a horrible idea and grabs one this. of the doorknobs. Yeah, it feels like I hate this so much. <laughs> I, I'm actually going to chill touch as I grab the handle. <laughs> I don't trust anything. Oh yeah, Booker will immediately just like jump up full body weight and just try and like yank it down. <laughs> yeah, and and it what it it easily opens. And what what is in front of you now is just hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of just rows of books. And And why don't you all give me a perception check, please? Uh, chat, can you roll me a 1d20 plus 6? I got an 11. I, too, got an 11. Five? Four. Five. Uh, or, or is this ASL for 20? Uh, no. no, this is ASL for 20. Uh, okay. Yeah, no, that's ASL for 20. No, shh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I meant to say natural 20, which I think in ASL is this. When Got I'm giving it, it to okay. the DM. Okay. Wow, yeah. okay. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's been 10, that kind what of What was night. your roll? <laughs> Four. Four, okay. Um, nice. And... Door sucks, man. Yeah, that was. What was your roll again, Nox? Sorry, I'm like my memory is. Eleven. Sure two, two, okay. two elevens. Nox and Booker. Two for elevens. 11. Yeah, sorry. Yeah. Both got eleven. Uh, yeah, and um, Booker, Booker and Nox, you, you, you see just <clears throat> this. It's almost like, it's just this blur moving between the shelves. Uh, was it going to the left or to the right? Uh, it is. It is going. It is in a sweeping motion from from right to left. It's almost like it's like looking for something. Sick. the The bookshelf that's on our left. I'm gonna try to push over and just start a domino effect of all of these book racks to hopefully just take out that row of bookcases. <laughs> uh, roll me an athletics check. You know what? Booker would not push it. Booker is going to drop a level four catapult spell into the first bookcase to try and knock it into the other bookcase. Yeah, no, that's, I mean, yeah, it feels you're, you're, you're spending catapult at level four? Level four catapult, so that's 6d8 of uh, yeah, uh, you, damage. You you manage to just slam this thing, and it, um, and you just, like, sandwich the bookcases. Dunk, 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 dunk. And you see just this like silvery figure pinned in the bookcases. Guys, I think I found the intruder. <clears throat> just kind of like wipe up some drool off of like his chin and I'll just start like power walking into the room. Yeah, and you can see that this is the silvery figure looks almost like like you know mercury like outside of a thermometer and it's got kind of red hair and it's holding the book does it look like the things that we saw in the tubes uh it's it's tough to say so it definitely okay. the the, it, it looks like it is made from what could be the thing that you saw in the tube, but you saw just the things in the tube were kind of formless. Okay. Um, just like it looked like mercury kind of darting around. Okay, so not not enough to be able to say. Yeah, this sure. is this okay. is definitely humanoid. Great. Yeah, Booker will just get up in the face and be like, "Hey, hey, 
Hey, what do you think you're doing? What are you doing in here? What is this? Why? Wh wh come on. Mercury thing? Are you even human? And I'll just go ahead and pull out my like dagger and like just start like poking at it Booker, just a Booker, little bit. Booker, Booker, could you could you calm down a little bit? No, you... no, this thing's intruding. It's clearly hey. not where it's supposed to be. We've got it trapped. Start talking. Look, look just trying, just trying to find the next fix. And it, and, it, and it holds up the book. Uh, does the book have a title or anything on it? This is this is the book that you guys just got out of the jungle. The next fix? Yeah, just 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 the next fix. You gotta. You know, you just, you know, we need action. We need adrenaline. Yeah, well, what? now you're trapped and a prisoner and you're an idiot. And we're going to take that back. And I'll go ahead and snatch the book. Yeah, and when you, as soon as you snatch the book, it just blinks out of existence. So as soon as I touch it or when it leaves his hand? When it leaves its hand. <laughs> Got it. Sorry, the book or the creature? The, the creature. Book. Oh, the creature. Book. Thank you. Yeah, book. The Important book. clarification. Okay. <laughs> there it is. Yes. Cool. Um, great. All right. Hey, Brax, any change in the power system? No, we're uh, we're still losing power. Wait. Right. Wait, wait, no, no, wait. These are the things that Dithy said that were in her dreams, and then she disappeared. But and then that's when she and 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 I think at that point Booker will just drop the book and just start running towards wherever Dithy's like quarters are. Fiona will pick up the book and tuck it into a pocket bag, back of her shorts, <laughs> whatever she's got. Um, and then turn back to Knox and Ten. I don't know what's wrong with him, and I don't think I can fix it. Can I take an insight check against Booker to identify <laughs> whether or not that he he's an addict? Like uh, under the under the pretense that like I would have seen this among other um like recruits in the MIDC. Mm -hmm. Um. I could say that you that you can probably tell that he is not himself right now. Okay, um, but not so but, much that he is an addict. Yeah, but I I I don't like people like rolling against players to like decide something like that. I, I, th I think you guys have, would have to have a conversation about it. Like our like, okay. like an RP conversation. But but you can yeah, definitely yeah, tell yeah. that like something is like He's, he is acting different than when he was acting in the rainforest. That much is for sure. <laughs> Complete opposite. Yeah. Yeah. I've seen something like it before, but I don't I don't know what it is. We just have to be careful of him. Is it worth going after He's... him or should we just go deal with the engine room? I think we should just go deal with the engine room. All right, let's go. I have no idea where his brain is at. Yeah, same. I tried talking to him last night when he was all down. He told me I should call my dad, and now this this morning. I don't. I don't know. Okay, let's go. I mean, no, he's definitely high, right? On what? The, the all they have here is like that shitty oatmeal bullshit and the special sauce. I don't know. i enough stuff in my life to recognize that parents. Shit. <laughs> Look. I I'm just saying. I don't. No, I believe you. All right. Engine room? Engine room. Yeah, and um, you, 
you guys are walk down a uh, Uh, you guys walk to the engine room and you see just this silvery substance. It's basically the, the engine room is like it has two kind of hatches that each house kind of a main reactor on in the ground. There's two of these big, big reactors. One of the two hatches is covered in this silvery mercury type substance and oh. it's kind of tinted tinted green and you can see that kind of on on the ground is just like all of these um like these artistic you know circles and ellipses and shapes just on the ground and you can and as you get closer you, you can see some of them are kind of forming uh in real time Well, that's not good. Uh. What, uh, what's like happening? Hmm. Is it oozing out of anywhere? Like, like, is, cause you said it's, it's like a, like a viscous. Uh, it's like, so, it coming... so so it kind of has so so this one it has the consistency of kind of mercury and it's not really okay. oozing but as as kind of the ship vibrates you can see kind of the surface tension of it start like vibrating shift yeah mm -hmm. okay but it's not like we can't see where it's coming from if it's coming from anywhere correct yeah it's it's not it, it does not look like it's coming from anywhere it it, it looks like it is just gooped this like re reactor hatch Mm -hmm. uh, fuck okay stand back and I like pull out one of my hand axes and throw it at just into the goop <laughs> I will let you do that and watch to see what happens Uh, sorry, I'm dealing with technical stuff. Can you? What do you do again? I pull out one of my hand axes and throw it, like, to try and like break the surface tension. Uh, and as you kind of throw it, it just kind of like sticks, sticks in the uh, in the goop, and it's, you just kind of hear just a ow. Ah. Uh... Hello? Yeah, hey, what what are you doing? I'm looking for looking for supplies here. I'm going to make I'm going to make something great. What what who are you? Who who, who am I? Look, I I'll be honest with you. I I don't really know, but I look this whatever's in this thing is is awesome and I'm just Looking for some stuff. I'm gonna make something great. Look, can't you see it on the floor? Uh, okay, but how'd you get here? The ship isn't yours. It's ours. Oh yeah, no. I mean, I just, I, I just, you know, I just showed up here, and this, this is, you know, just this, this seemed nice. Okay, c can you m maybe it. Is it just you? Is there more than just you? Oh, though there was um, yeah, there's three of us. Yeah, that's the we're, we're a team. Okay. Uh. Well, team. Uh, what is your name? I I don't know. I said I just I just showed up here. Okay. Well, let's let's agree to call you Goop. And as as you're kind of talking, just these like drawings on the ground, they they, they start getting bigger, and and the ship's lights kind of like start start to dim, and you can hear the and and you can hear the reactor, you know, start really start to like lose power. 
Yeah. And you kind of and, and and you hear on the comms. Uh, anyone, anyone down there? Uh, what's e- sit rep? Yep. B- Brax, hold, hold, hold on, hold, hold, hold on. Uh, friend, goop, friend, goop, friend. <laughs> Whatever you're doing, you need to stop, or you're gonna kill us all in the ship. Uh, we can even try and work towards an agreement. I can help you look for whatever you're looking for, but you will kill us if you keep draining the power from this reactor. Look, this is this just feels this just feels too good. I I can't stop. Totally understand. Look, did, have you ever do you have have you ever found something that just like that you just can't stop doing? It's this. Okay. <laughs> and, and I need to fix and I need to fix a bunch of stuff <laughs> Bing. It's, 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 it's the it's Aurora fine. Zero way yep <laughs> we, we broke time and space the, the, the goop really really screwed everything up guys all we have to do is lean to the other side of our camera and everything's fine <laughs> oh wait I, I leaned the wrong me. way yeah, yeah. yeah. Come on. <laughs> uh, for now what I'm going okay. to do oh, oh wait easy clap. hold Oh, 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 oh. Back to center. Wait. Back to center. <laughs> Let's see if we all shuffle. Who's the new DM? Oh, damn. I was hoping we'd all shuffle and <laughs> no, just no. be like, surprised. No, Discord, no. Discord, no. yeah, Discord actually does a nice job of maintaining that. Thank God. Hey, you're back. Oh, you're, Live your video is a lot better. You are muted, though, intentionally, it looks like. So. <laughs> <laughs> if you need muted and just type it in apparently i can do a you impression <laughs> word let's say you're doing it live your video is much smoother it, yeah it's much cleaner now we can actually see you moving Hooray. Cool. Ten's just going to be very method tonight. (laughs) (laughs) Peace acting. Yeah, and so it it just, you can just like, and you also see your your axe, uh, Nox, kind of like slowly start to like Kind of like fall out and as you as it falls out you see just these designs kind of etched into the part where uh it was inside the mercury just these like beautiful like isometric drawings uh okay i will pick it up yeah you you grab it it's it's just the axe it doesn't nothing tries to stop you uh, but it's still kind of like, but the the power you, you can still hear the power kind of going down. Okay, I, I'll just holster the axe for now and and turn back to to Goop friend. Goop, listen, I don't want to die today, and I don't think you want to either. You have to help me so I can help you, and you have to stop draining the power out of this ship. Look, I just give me something that's better than this. What? Sorry, this is the meta of Alondra not understanding spaceship mechanics. What does it appear that he is draining? Is this like nuclear power? Is this like gasoline? Like uh, this what? is this is probably Ish. like akin to like some sort of like Space cold, cold fission. Yeah, great. Like cool. I think of it as general... like the hyperdrive. <laughs> I just need a general world of what kind of engine does this ship run on? I can live yeah, with this that. This is yeah. This is this is this is the like intergalactic drive. The, cool. the, the magic internet dust. Perfect. Yeah. In that case, I'm going to... This is a sentence I never thought I'd say in my life. I am going to attempt to non-lethally fire an Eldritch Blast at him to see if the energy from the Eldritch Blast will, like, give him a hit. Yeah, and he, like, he, like, you... He, you fire that kind of, like, burst of magical energy and you see the ship just kind of, uh, 
burst, you know, the, the lights come back on a little bit brighter and knocks you, you hear just, oh, what? what was that? Oh, who do I hear it from? Uh, the, the goop, goop friend. Goop la goop goop. Uh, okay. Was that, was that good? Better? Oh yeah, that, that, that's the stuff. This, the stuff that I'm getting right now is just, it's kind of like a, it's kind of like a slow drip. But that was a joke. Okay. Oh, 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 oh fuck. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> Nox says Nox says very sad. <laughs> yeah. Um Okay. Stop taking what you're taking now and we will find you a way to get you more of that. They just, just load me up now. I need it. And, it, and I, you can see and you can see that it like it, it starts to like separate itself from f from the vault and it starts like moving it starts moving in in your direction Fiona if I load you up now will you leave once you're full I there's no reason for me to be here just just give me the stuff there's n no way you can promise enough ultra sprat blasts to load him up I mean I don't know how this works if it's like any other drug then uh the the man is eating a nuclear reaction oh no i'm 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 gonna band-aid this really quick <laughs> you no no we'll all be the new character we've been assigned jesus christ ah. <laughs> hello wait for it wait for it I'm sorry. oh i was fiona for a second damn we all shuffled like, that time. We were very excited to get I got, weird. I, I, I got to be 10. I was about to slice so many things open. <laughs> yeah, I was about to be like, I'll just cast a spell on it. I was going to be like, so many drugs. <laughs> drugs, drugs, all the drugs. I'm going to take some all the drugs. I'm currently carrying about Diffy right now, so relax. It's fine. <laughs> okay. Can we hear me? Yeah. Yes. Beautifully. Yes, we can. Great. What the hell just happened in the last <laughs> half hour? <laughs> so we ran down to uh, the cargo bay. Booker went bananas on a silver mercury thing that had the book. And when he took the book from it, it disappeared. And then we ran into the engine room and found a couple more of these things that are apparently eating our nuclear reactor. And we've discovered so far, the only thing that works as a substitute is my Eldritch Blast. Magic. Which is great. Ate up like Love candy. It. That's pretty much okay. all you missed. Uh, and it's and it's kind of just oozing towards you, Fiona. Look, just, just give me some more. Like, look, I just that was so. Look, I'm like I just I'm trying to trying to store all this stuff up, create something people will love, and that you know I can finally fucking just prove to my fucking family that I'm something. I'm sorry. What are you trying to create? For your family? Give me what you just gave. Just... No. No. You give me answers if you want more stuff. This is a trade. Trades don't. And and you can see that the, uh, as, as you refuse, it just like almost looks like it's going into, um, into shock as it just like, as the whole Mercury just kind of like starts to, starts to twitch and then it and then it makes a break back back for the reactor as it realizes that that you're not going to give it any more Eldridge blast. Um, I fire a chill touch at it to see if I can stop it. Yeah, why don't why don't you roll um, an, an attack roll? Chat, uh, roll me a just a straight up one d twenty, please. That is seven. Uh, well, I rolled an eleven, so <laughs> suck my chill touch. Yeah, and I, and as 
as you hit it with the chill touch, it just, you just hear, you just hear it just scream in pain and it just poofs out, poofs out of existence and, and the ship just fires back up. Cool. So we've got magic junkies invading our ship. Sounds about right. Well, they're junkies for something. The magic just fills the same need. And uh, we're going to move over and as you guys kind of cruise cruise out of the uh, engine room slash cargo lower deck area, we're going to cruise over to Dithy's room. And uh, Booker, you're you're over there and you just like Kind of see see Dithy uh, laying uh, laying on laying on the bed, and you look and you see that she's she's like shivering. She's got the she's a little sweaty. Um, she is not looking good. Um, yeah, Booker is gonna try to slow himself down a bit and try and talk in a nice, soothing voice and be like, "Hey, Dithy, I uh, wanted to come check on you, hun, and you're just uh." The, the things from your dreams that you described of when you were abducted, one might be in the ship, and I'm, I'm nervous it's having an ill effect on you. So I, I'm, I'm here. I'd, I'd like to help if I can. And I'd like to like come and like sit on her bed, like hand on her shoulder. And I'd like to try and like judge if there's anything I can do for her medically. Uh, why don't you roll a, uh, what is that, like a medicine check? Is that a thing? That is what That's I was hoping for. That is a that thing. Is a thing. Uh, that chat, is a thing why don't you Booker roll has. me a 1d20 plus 5, please? On bot. It's a 15. 24. Hey. Yeah, so you, you can like... You can kind of like as you're like checking her out, um, you like look. You kind of like look down in in her eye to like check her. You know, like the pupils, like check the back to see if she's okay. And you notice that that like there, that something is. Uh, you notice that something is missing from from the back of her, from like the inside of her cornea. She doesn't have her sweet, sweet inner eye tattoo that her and her friends did, I assume, exactly. is what that gesture is. Yes. Hey, she, uh, she... does it look like it was it's completely missing or it's like it's been covered up or something is altered? As in like it's it's definitely it, it's it looks like it's being like covered up. You can still like see see the indentations of it. But it is like it's definitely different and less there than it was. Uh, yeah. At this point, I'm gonna start talking up real fast. Gonna be like, Dithy, Dithy, you need to stay with me. I think there is something happening that is either trying to replace you or take you somewhere. You need to get grounded. I do not want to have to take any serious action to try and keep you here. But you gotta talk to me. You gotta say something, Dithy. Come on. And like, g give her like a bit of a shake, like try to keep that eye contact like I want to make sure that that mark is still there yeah, and yeah no, if I, I can just I I don't know what's I just can't like just, I just like what I just don't know what's happening like they for some reason I just I see uh like I feel like I why did why did they leave me when I was a kid like that? Uh, t t tell me, tell me more, Dithy. You're, you're 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 talking without context. Just keep talking. Like my parents just just they just they just left me at the at the camp. I, I don't. Hey, maybe maybe. 
maybe they didn't have a choice, Dithy. Maybe maybe something happened to force them to leave or at least prevent them from getting back to you. Uh, tell me about the camp. Tell me about what was going on there. Just keep looking into my eyes Just and keep a talking. Bunch of and as as she's kind of like rambling and mumbling, you you see just like this drip of of silvery liquid that just drips right out of her ear. Mm-hmm. Out of her ear. Mm-hmm. Shit. Hey, hey, Dithy. Just rest. It's gonna be okay. Yeah. Just, just let it wash over you. I'm gonna take care of this. Uh, when's when's our next mission? Dithy, don't worry about that. You're gonna rest up now. It's gonna be fine. We got you once. I'll get you again. Okay. And she like uh, cal- calms down a little bit. Yeah, just it's okay. Let it wash over you, and I'm going to prepare a spell. Ow. And <clears throat> basically, the moment I can see into her eyes that that mark is not there, I am going to cast Synaptic Static and try to get whatever silver goop is inside of her head out. Synaptic Static. That is a spell I've not heard dude. before. dude. <laughs> oh my it, god. Yeah, so right now, Booker is just, like, causing some, like, weird mental connection voodoo, and I am about to blast both of us with a shit ton of psychic energy to try and purge her of any of this uh, silvery goop. Wow, okay. Buffer goop. Okay, I'll lose. The blast. Okay, yeah. What is the verbiage on that? Uh, you thoughts choose a point jumbled, within. Could not resist so those thoughts jumbled for up to one minute. <laughs> yeah. Well, well, there's that part of it. There's also uh, you choose a point within rage and cause a psychic energy to explode. Ah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Sounds um, fun. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, so yeah, each creature in a twenty foot radius sphere is centered on that point. So it's going to be both of us. <laughs> and yeah, I, I am just going to try to overload the goop, but pretty much this room with the psychic energy and try and drive this thing out of Dithy. Yeah, and you, I, I think that you definitely, that's, that, that was very, uh, that was, you know, I, I, I like that way, way that you did that. Um, yeah, so you, you managed to just zap, zap Dithy and this, like basically, like exactly, like you know. I, I know someone said said Alex Mack uh, in the chat, uh, but that's basically kind of exactly <laughs> what happens. Uh, just this like weird kind of silvery goo ooze just flows out of Dithy's ear, and then kind of Alex Mack's just back into a humanoid right in front of you. Great. Um, I don't know if you want me to, but I rolled damage, and I am also <laughs> caught in this, and I'm going to take the 29 damage that I rolled. 29 damage? Okay. Yeah. yeah 29 and, uh, psychic damage. Okay. Great. Yeah, that's, I'll, I'll pop that down here real quick. And, uh, and you... You hit it for for twenty nine psychic damage, and uh, then it it uses a um, and then it kind of like it, it covers its eyes and like shakes its head off, and then uh, can can you roll me a uh, perception check, please? Sure. And uh, chat. Can you roll me a 1d20? <laughs> I love this. Plus 10, please. Oh, I hate that. <laughs> I only got a 19. <laughs> oh, that is a 19. I also got uh, a 19. Yeah, but uh, since it is this thing making the roll, it's going to win. Uh, yep. And, and it, and with just like, 
a swing of of a, of a silvery cloak that you didn't know that it had, it is gone as it as it successfully has stealthed away from you after its disengage action. So, so the silver blob I just exercised out of Dithy is no more. It is as far as not aware. where it is. Yes, got it. Great, 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 great. Um, if I have another round to act, I would then like to cast my last and final fifth level spell on animate objects. I'm going to animate everything in Dithy's room and give them the order to protect Dithy at all costs from anyone that is not the crew. And all of Diffie's, Diffie's thing is just like, give you a, yes, sir, <laughs> as they all start to protect Diffie. Awesome. Uh, and you guys here on the comms, just a, hey, uh, got some good news and some bad news. Why don't you guys uh, get up here? I'll, 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 I will also head up to the bridge, and as soon as I round the corner out of Dithy's room, I'm like, oh yeah, I got some real bad fucking news. And and at this point, I, I think that, that you run into uh, three Fiona, or ten. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know why you just Whoever became three are, instead blah, of ten. Blah, blah. It's <laughs> uh, fine. I'm basically not here anyway. <laughs> so, you, so one third of ten walking down the room. <laughs> yeah, so so you, you run into uh, ten Fiona, and and knocks as they're coming up from the ladder that that led into the cargo hold. Yeah, so uh, I just purged another one of those uh, silver humanoid creature things out of Dithy. Uh, she's resting right now, and I got uh, so uh, I kind of made her room turn alive to protect her. But uh, out yeah. of Dithy. Yeah, it. I was talking to her, and it started to ooze out of her ear, and then I kind of just filled the room with psychic energy and fucked us both up but i got it out of her and then it disappeared so uh yeah i'm not sure if drax or is compromised at this point or if we got more of those things what'd you find in the engine room because i'm having just a blast uh, drug fiend aliens basically <clears throat> uh we There's talking like mindless or that. Like they were no, trying to like... eat the nuclear reactor. Oh, yeah, just normal things. Oh, I fucking miss home. Uh, to the bridge? Sure. And you guys, as you get up to the bridge, you see Brax just kind of standing with his arm, with his, you know, his arm that has the interface uh, on it. This still jacked into the Kingfisher. He's standing up and behind him bonks. You can see that silvery cloaked humanoid just with a knife up up to his throat. And and behind that you see the other two, uh the other silver humanoid and that uh and that blob uh that was sucking on on the engine reactor behind those two and and behind them, through, through through the window, you see just this massive cylindrical space station, uh, getting start getting closer and closer. So, uh, you want good news or or bad news? I think we know the bad news, so let's start with the good. Uh, we are almost at a zero. Um. So much so that unless we do something, and he like, and and the knife gets pushed a little bit closer to his throat, and you see blood start to like trickle down from from the cut. We are gonna crash. You know, if you don't want to crash, silvery people, you should probably let our pilot pilot. And uh, the the one that was uh, running around through the uh, through the library just kind of like looks at you and says, uh, 
Oh no, that, that'd be fun. This sounds amazing, doesn't it? Doesn't it sound great? How many of them are there? There are three. One from the library, the second one from the the one from the engine room that I did not hit, and the one from Dithy's room. Yep. Great. Okay. If you're looking for fun, I'll give you the ship. We'll give you the ship a a after we land. We don't care what you do with it after that. Oh, you're gonna just let him go. Let him go and let him land us. Okay. Okay. We'll let him go. And uh and and the one uh holding holding the uh holding Brax lets him go. And um and uh let's roll the mission. Uh let's <laughs> and uh can you uh can can you guys all give me a perception check and uh chat can you roll me a one D twenty plus ten? Daddies. <laughs> It's a 22. Damn it. 18. 10. Oh, no, Chat is very good at sneaking up on us. Ooh. Yeah, and he and he he lets Brax Brax go and with a fling of his cloak, it's gone. So there's only two left. So yeah, ship's yours. We're just gonna land. The whole crew's gonna get off safely. Y'all can do whatever the hell you want, but leave us alone. Um, and and they kind of look at you and say, "Well, we, I, we, we can't let you get to Aurora Zero in uh, one piece now, can we? That would be, that would be we'd be failing our." be failing our mission as ciphers and uh why don't you guys roll initiative <laughs> that's a terrible sentence to hear yeah that sounds about right <clears throat> oh now i get the natural 20 fuck you <laughs> you get to go first my least favorite position is the cleric. that's like a it's like a 21 fiona yes 21 <laughs> uh nox uh, 27. Uh, Booker. Six. And 10. Uh, 20, not that. And we're just going to ignore the circle because I, for some reason, cannot get rid of it. It is not on any layer. Like, <laughs> My spells are too powerful. It's the floor mat. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and we got our good friend where, where is he our good friend Brax is here <laughs> damn it he's right in the way of me doing lightning bolt come on <laughs> it's alright I'm going last it'll be fine uh, okay, and you guys are, uh, Nox, were, were you forward or were you, because I, I know you were talking, were you, like, in front of everyone? Uh, I kind of imagined everyone was standing in a line, or, like, standing around, looking yeah, at... So it, uh, I, I would have hung back slightly, because I was toward the back of the line, but not drastically, yeah. Okay. Yeah, kind of like think yeah. think of that back circle as that that's like the like back panel window area where you can see Aurora Zero getting closer. The the circle, the smaller circle, is like the captain's chair, and then um, the uh, the rectangle down down below is like the the other um, like navigation stations. Yeah. Great if roll twenty would actually work. Okay. It looks super cool and spacey. We got lines on top of circles, on top of squares. Yeah. Um, and 
Uh, and let's see here. Nox. Oh, uh, wait. What did people say? A 10 or. Yeah, great. Nox. Mm. Uh, chat, can you. Can you roll me a uh, one a one d twenty plus seven, please? Uh, that is a nineteen against your AC. Yep. Um, how many dice is your sneak attack? Sneak attack. Three. Three. Three d six, right? Mm-hmm. Shit. Uh, Jack, can you roll me 4d6 plus 3? As you, as Nox, you just, you feel just the searing white pain in your side. And it's, it's a move that seems that you know that only one, that you know only one other person who could sneak up on you like that. Okay. Yeah. And that would be you. Right. And so that's nine damage. That is the worst sneak attack roll in the history of sneak attacks. Oh, <laughs> I will God. just accept the nine damage. <laughs> <laughs> he's like you, but he's not as good as you. <laughs> yeah. I didn't even have to react to it or anything. <laughs> uh, and... Yeah, and and you see and you see that silvery form just up, appear behind you and pull pull the short sword out of your side. Uh, and now real Nox, you're up. <laughs> okay, I'm worry, going to what <laughs> yet? Um, <laughs> I am going to uh, turn and go full assassinate on the guy who. Just uh, oh, he already took a turn. Actually, yeah. Uh, no, I, I I take that back. I'm gonna go towards the guy who is standing uh, to the left of Brax. Okay, I will uh, jump over this like counter. Chat, can you roll me a one d twenty plus seven, please? As uh, this creature gets an attack of opportunity on you, as you oh, uh, as, as I move away. I didn't think about that. That is a. Uh, you can change if you want. I I I will um, allow you. I will uh, allow you to uh, to not take the stat attack of opportunity. Okay. Well, then I, I I will just pull out my 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 bow and my bow is what I would do instead. Mm. Yeah. Okay. So that's what I'll do. Yep. And um. So you're, and I'll, so you're gonna. I'm gonna so you're shooting this one. Yeah. Uh, I don't think either of these are going to hit, but uh, 16. Uh, so that is a... Uh, that just barely hits. Okay. Um... And an 11, which I know doesn't hit. Hold on a second. Uh, it, let's see here. It it does not hit. Um, yeah, I'll take precision attack uh, and expend a superiority die. To see if I can guarantee this hit. Shite. I don't think I do. That was a waste. Six plus seven is thirteen. Doesn't hit, right? Uh, it does not hit. Okay, so then I just get the um, one arrow and sneak attack, right? Because my ally is next to him. Uh, yes. Oh, wait. Actually, I'm sorry, uh, Zep. I'm going to re-roll that second one because I have advantage on it since he hasn't taken a turn yet. Got it. Yep. Ah, better. Uh, 23. That, that is a hit. Okay, cool. 
Uh, so. Oh shit, I really wish I hadn't can expended that precision dice now. Oh well. Uh okay, uh 26 damage total. Uh, and that was to uh the one on the right. Left. Or the one guy. left. Okay. And and she just kind of like goes goes down on one knee and like just like cracks the arrow off uh, in in her chest and looks up and smiles and Fiona. I smile by I smile back at her. <laughs> Lovely. Um. God, I'm so conflicted on how to deal with this bullshit um cool i panic because i think i know what's happening or fiona thinks she knows what might be happening so she starts to panic and i'm going to cast spirit guardians on myself so two spectral figures one that looks like a female ranger and one that looks like a male cleric suddenly appear and sort of start creating, you know, similar to, like, my my spirit fox that I sometimes send on to 10, sort of start, like, circling around me. It's a 15-foot radius. Any uh, creature who um, starts their turn in that radius or enters it on their turn will have to make a wisdom saving throw in order to avoid damage. Um, uh, I can designate any number of creatures to be unaffected, so I will designate that my party just sees this and goes, yeah, that's her usual bullshit, <laughs> while everybody else should be terrified. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. And so, and, and those things just follow you around, or they're in one guard, they're in one spot, right? It is concentration for up to 10 minutes. They flit around me a distance of 15 feet for the duration, so I believe as long as I don't break concentration, they will move with me okay. if I move. Then I'm not gonna. Then I'm not gonna find a token for them. They're just. They are just with you. Yeah. It's just. Yeah. Just it's fifteen within circle 15 around me. Feet. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um. And as my bonus action, I will of course summon my um spiritual weapon. Be back. Cause that's what we do yeah. here on Aurora Zero. Except that was where really you big red dot you almost dragged onto screen. I'm gonna. <laughs> I'm gonna drop it onto the. Yeah, let's drop it onto the one that attacked Nox. The one that I'm hoping is gonna also take some damage from my spiritual guardians. Yep. Cool. And that's gonna be a 18 to hit. Uh, an 18 is a hit. Hey, I was gonna be so scared if you were like, misses, I'm gonna be like, shit, we're no, doomed, no, no, no. guys. Max damage, 11 damage from my angry spectral mace. Yeah, and uh, and this this thing is starting to look uh, starting to look a little bloodied, actually. Oh no. Uh, and 10, you you are up. Uh, you are you are about 15 to 20 feet away from from the uh, silver creature that attack Nox, and about the same distance uh, to, to to the one uh, that that Nox shot, which is still next to Brax, and about forty feet from forty five feet, yeah, from the one across. Um. I, I'm just going to hit one that is in within 30 foot range with uh, fire. <laughs> <laughs> I'm creating uh, my fire. <laughs> I would like to apply fire to this individual. Ooh. Not very successfully. That's an 11 to hit. Uh, and that is going to be a 
Unfortunately. Um, yeah. And, uh... I'll move closer. Yeah. Alright. Oh. Sweet. It's our turn, chat. And this this silvery figure with uh, with red hair just runs up to you, Ten, and pulls this weird silvery blade out that looks like it has two. It's got two two ends on it. These silver silver tipped ends, and it's gonna swing at you twice. That's right. Uh, chat, can you roll me two d twenty, please? a 16 and an 11 so that is going to be a 23 and a uh 18 to hit <laughs> congratulations double hit <laughs> uh Jack, <laughs> can you <laughs> roll me 4d4 plus six please take me down put me out of my misery <laughs> No, not when we finally got your tech working again. <laughs> no, I'm <laughs> done. It's time for bed. <laughs> Let's try again tomorrow, guys. Uh, that is that is 17. Uh, and... And then this one over here, Booker, just runs runs straight straight for you. It gets about there. I didn't even see there's another pole. Damn it. <laughs> I know, I keep missing him too. Uh, and uh, I'm going to... Uh, I'm going to need you to make a... Uh, or it's, no, it's, it's an attack. Uh, and it is going to cast Ray of Frost. Uh, chat, can you roll me a uh, one one d twenty uh, plus seven, please? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Wow, that's the exact thing that's on my character sheet. Yeah, I, it's kind of weird, isn't it? I hate this so a, much. I hate this so much. A twenty-two will hit. Yeah, uh, chat, roll. Uh, let's roll two d eight, please. Eight points of damage. And Booker, you are up. I think Booker is starting to uh, put some things together. Um, I did get hit with a ray of frost, so my movement speed is reduced by 10. <laughs> that's fucking terrible. Yeah, I'm going to move. Yep, I think that still gets me. I'm going to move 15 feet up. So I should. Yeah. And then I'm going to cast a lightning bolt on these two. Okay. That's going to be a level four lightning bolt. So they both need to make dexterity saving throws. Pat, can you roll me 2d20, please?
Oh. Come on, bot. <laughs> the bot hates everybody. My goodness. Uh, so that is oh, wow, that, that's not good. Uh, so the first the, the first deck save is a, a 11 and the second one is a 13. They are both going to fail and they are both gonna take 43 points of lightning damage. Oh shit okay. Um, um, yep, and I burnt a bunch of metamagic points on that, so let me mark those. I got to reroll my three lowest damage dice. And because I spent a metamagic point, I'm gonna burn another one and give myself resistance to lightning damage with my dragon resilience. Brilliant. Interesting. That is brilliant. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And uh, 10. The uh, the form right in front of you that just stab you looks very close to death. Good. Good. Uh, and let's see here. Nox. Yeah. Speed <laughs> <laughs> pole. Damn. Um. Uh, well, you you are about to get attacked, and then it will be your turn. Oh fuck. <laughs> <That's okay. laughs> Uh, as as this hooded silvery figure just goes and just stabs you again. The one that's standing in front of him. Correct, and then cool. he's probably he's gonna, gonna take and, a bunch and, of and, and on his turn he takes the spiritual guardian's damage, right? Correct. That's why I was checking. I yes. will roll that right now. He's going to take 13 as the uh, spirit ranger just fires two arrows straight through his head. And he is actually starting to look very damaged. Uh, and chat, can you can you roll me a uh, 1d20 plus 7, please? Actually, two, two, 2d20 plus 7. He's going to make two attacks. Oh no. Uh, so that is a 17 and a 16 against your AC, Nox. Both will hit. Ooh, let's go. Uh, so let's let's go to 2d6 plus three. Not quite enough for sneak attack is five feet, right? Yeah, it's not quite enough for sneak attack. So 2d6 plus 3, or plus 6. Bot is tired. Bluey, f you're going to fix the bot, I believe. Uh, and then, so that is going to be a 12 damage. Uh, which is, I, I will, I will take my reaction an uncanny dodge and make it only six. Okay. Rogue things. And not since it's my turn. turn next anyway. <laughs> uh <-huh>. <laughs> <laughs> and um, and once uh, be before you take your action, you you guys like you hear Brax just scream out, "Look, we have to get the ship under control. We're." We're gonna. Cr I'm serious. We're gonna crash, and you can see that uh, that the space station is just looking enormous in this window. Like you guys have not stopped going at it. <laughs> what do we need to do to get it under control? Like get get these guys out of here. There's they're they're jamming with my ability to to control the ship. I don't know what the fuck is going on. Like they they need to be out. Oh, do they? All right. Uh, Ask and you shall receive. <laughs> I will then take uh, both 
of my attacks to um the one in front of me the me of of the fight mm -hmm. yep um 21 that's a hit and 19 that is a hit excuse me um whoo max damage hello let's, just, let's throw down a fucking superiority die and I'm going to also commit to Distracting Strike. Oh! <laughs> Whoa. One away from Max. <laughs> uh, yeah, you you are going to uh, kill this thing. Like, I 18. don't even like... <laughs> 25. Yeah, it's... It, it's dead. Um, well... Just... Shit. I kind of wish I had spread my spread out the love now. <laughs> oh well, I am going to to look at Brax and say, "Yeah, I hear you," and then unsheath both my swords and turn and just give this dude like one cut across the belly and one just like across the neck. And <clears throat> as and then I'm just gonna boot him in the chest as he falls over. Yeah, and as a, as you kick him, he just turns just back back into Mercury and just plops on the floor. But but, but and is then not I, moving. Okay, and then I will uh Hold on. Hold on. Uh, uh okay. And then I will use action surge. And I will push to the one that is in front of ten, because okay. that's the one that's really fucking hurt, right? Yep. And I yeah. and I assume that you can that you can dodge around the five foot attack of opportunity uh, area. Yep. Okay. And then um, let's do this shit all over again. Uh, eighteen. Uh, that and is a hit. Fifteen. That is a miss shite well you know I I'm just gonna I'm gonna go all in and I'm gonna fucking uh expend another superiority die with um for precision attack 14 plus 6 so unnatural 20 14 plus 7 21 uh, that is a hit okay uh and then we get these Oh, that's, that sucks. <laughs> Alternatively, minimum damage. Oh, no. uh, you're, you're, uh, you're two plus six ice. is eight. Plus sneak attack is 19 total damage to that guy. 19? Yeah, mm -hmm. and this uh, that's, that's enough to kill this one, too. Sick. Um, yeah, so is what is this? Is this a table? This uh, yeah, so it's 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 like kind of like a like a control surface where the, where there's like you know button panels where where an operator would would use them and then it kind of curves okay. up and then there's screens. So I can't Starsky and Hutch slide across this thing. Instead, I will like take a leap off of it and mm -hmm. and blade dive this dude just two into each <laughs> shoulder. <laughs> oh yeah, and or one gone. Shoulder. Yeah. Yeah, and then I'm gonna turn and face the other guy and stare menacingly like this. <laughs> Be like, if I had another action, I'd get you. <laughs> uh, well, you know, I mean, if you want that, Zep, I can make um, it so. No, I'm good. I, I think I'd rather. <laughs> no, I really can't. I, I actually can't. <laughs> I actually can't. So. Well, I, was gonna say, I mean, you took out everyone on whom my plan rested, so I can change yeah. gears now because I was gonna do something way stupid. Um, and now I'm deciding if I'm still going to or not. Wait. Fuck, it's the end of the night. Let's go way stupid. Why not? Stupid. Um, because I want to see what happens more than anything else. <laughs> I am going to do it. I dare like, you. I, this is literally just because I want to see what happens because I'm a terrible person. I am going to. Oh, wait, can I do this? Let me check if it's in my range. If it's not in my range, then I'll just mark him. Good. 
That's that's almost anything. Twenty five feet. Mm-hmm. <laughs> right, but I don't think I can move and cast a spell. What spell? Uh, <laughs> on, hmm? I'll say, yeah, is it like a spell that's like you can't? Mo- yeah, you can move and then take your action. I can. Great. That's all I want to clarify. I'm gonna run yes. up. I am going yeah. to grab oh, yeah. the last silver guy, and I am going to attempt to blink with him in grapple. Because I want to see what happens if I pull this fucker to another plane. I don't know if this is possible, but we're gonna try it. Uh, if touch as long. Goop. So he is gonna. You are gonna need to roll a spell attack against his. They are gonna make a dex save. Oh, he's good at that. Yeah, he is. <laughs> Unfortunately. Uh, chat, can you roll a one uh, d twenty plus six as this uh, this blob tries to roll out of the way? The twenty three. That's really a pity because I rolled a twenty six. Yeah. So, so you you grab him as. And as soon as you blink out, um, uh, Fiona and Ten, and, or sorry, uh, Knox, Ten, and Booker, you you see Brax like get a little more kind of like reassured, and just like the power like surges back into the ship, and you can just see all of all of the thrusters have just like turned around, and he's just in full fucking reverse. And sick. That's what I wanted. And. And you guys just like stop, just like, and you guys just like, dunk, just like barely, barely, barely tap, uh, tap uh, uh, Aurora Zero. And Whoa. and Fiona, you you see something very, very interesting. So you see, so the the Aurora Zero that you saw going, you know lighting up to it was just kind of a bare metal shell and I didn't have didn't have many lights on inside uh look looked almost derelict from from the outside the the aurora zero that you see in front of you has all all of the lights on it has had it has uh multiple additions to it uh, it's huge it looks like this massive massive space space nation Almost, where it's a bunch of different stations kind of amalgamated together, all centering on what you can tell was Aurora Zero. Um, and you you see just just that kind of Mercury figure just turn its head to you, and it it can't breathe; it's suffocating. And after about fifteen seconds, it just explodes in just this silvery goo. Yeah. Great. And we are out of combat. Cool. As soon as I'm sure it's dead, then I will <laughs> return. <clears throat> and uh, All right. It's not what it looks like, in case anyone was wondering. So you're not one of the silvery goop creatures now? No, I meant the, the station, Aurora Zero. No, he's, oh. he's very oh. dead. He's very uh, dead. Well, you're also covered in silver goop now. Yeah, well, I've been covered in worse. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm not, still undecided. Let's not yeah. go there. Um... Um, <laughs> I mean, nothing has been what it seems so far, so we might as well just. I mean, it didn't look like he could boop. Oh, he definitively did not like wherever we went. Yeah. But, uh. Great. I'm gonna Let's look keep at that for later. I'm gonna look at Brax. How populated is this place supposed to be? Oh, that's, uh... There's there's people in there, for sure. Not as populated as it was a thousand years ago. It's it's a city in there. I promise you there's people there. Look, we're... 
I just got us pulled in. Let's let's get out there. Uh, Agent Three is gonna be there. She's waiting for us. Hey, uh, Fiona. Yeah. Did you get a good look at Drax while you were over there? Chance. Unless the DM wants to retcon that. Nope, I do not at all. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't really have a chance. Was busy trying to hold on to a uh, that. Yeah, yeah. But uh, all right. Oh, there's still something just off. Oh, there's a lot of things that are off. Yeah, S still not sure if the place you go is showing you a true vision or a false vision. It's just different. Oh, I'm starting to think I have an idea of what I might be seeing. All right, so, uh, what, we just start the docking process? It's already done. Let's get to the door. You coming with us? Show us the way to find Agent 3? Oh, yeah. Does she know we're here? He just like looks at you and laughs <laughs> and walks walks over to, to the door, hits it, and just steps aside as just a woman in this like in that in in, in the trademark like leather bodysuit just storms in and just looks at you guys just right in the face. Where's the book? We've got work to do. <laughs> <laughs> 